Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations with Marvelous. And before I introduce uh, my guest, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody for tuning in, everybody in the live chat, everybody who decided not to be on the live chat, uh, those of you guys that are just tuning in from your television and don't care to chat with anyone because the LA fools and the IE fools are going to war, a live chat war. Okay, so let's take it to the internet, food. Anyway, so once again, I want to thank everybody. I know we got uh, Vegas foods, we got Raider foods, we got all kinds of foods on the live chat. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Um, other than that, if you guys didn't catch our last conversation with Marvelous, it's up. Uh, if you guys didn't catch the Yuck Mouth uh, um, Smoking with the Wizard, check that out. If you guys didn't catch Paulie's uh, project, definitely check that out. I, I want to encourage everyone to watch that one. You know, it, it's funny because whenever I do something that's actually meaningful to help someone, to help change lives, that's kind of like when you get the least views in a sense because people would rather hear cheese man. It's pretty sad that we've come to that as as a people, that we'd rather watch Jerry Springer than to watch a true story, you know. But definitely check out um, Polly's Project. And then uh, check out Be Real, once again, Smoking with the Wizard. And we had just have so much stuff on there. If you guys didn't get a chance to tune in to, uh, uh, to Live and Die in L.A., that's also up. So definitely check that out. We got a lot more guests c- coming through. We got a lot more Smoking with the Wizard episodes coming through. A lot more Freaky Tales. Friday, I have uh, somebody from L.A., the part of a rap group. He wants to be here. He's actually been to Rodian Radio before, but he wants to be here because he said he's got a lot of Freaky Tales. So uh, if you guys didn't catch last night, me... Uh, and Norby's taking calls on Freaky Tales, definitely check that out. The majority of uh, uh, the show was all calls, a lot of interesting calls, a lot of sleep paralysis, etc. So uh, I'm not going to bore you so much with uh, so many news, uh, uh, if you will, updates. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it with, once again, Marvelous Inc. How you doing, Marvelous? What's up, bro? Everything good? Yeah, great. How was the drive over here, man? Was it a lot of traffic? No, it was cool. It was good, actually. Yeah, you, you know that every time you come over here, is it always around the same same time, or are there some days that just takes a lot longer? Today's kind of off because it's fucking um, time change. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's today. We had a, a forward our clocks. Uh, I mean, even though I've still slept in, mm. but I, I like the other time better when it gets darker sooner. Yeah, yeah. What about you? Yeah, bro. For real, if you feel like you have more of a day, you know. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, uh, um, as far as, like, traffic is concerned, because that's when I ask you, um, how was it c- coming over here? Because I drove to Santa Maria on Thursday and got back yesterday. And it seems like every six months, it's like the time to get over there is going up like a half an hour. When I first started going over there, it was less than three hours. Then after a while, it was three hours. Then three and a half hours. Now it's almost four. Going and coming. Damn. And it, it's crazy dude i got home yesterday and all i wanted to do was sleep but i was out there working on some music and uh everything's coming together good but other than that how has your sunday been uh did you do any tattooing today nah bro i just chilled with my daughter and my my little boy okay yeah. okay now your little boy you're talking about the, the, my baby boy yeah your little yeah, baby yeah. boy and, and and how's that coming along i know you said that you just uh i guess uh you got him, I guess. Yeah, it, yeah. Is he under your custody now, or? Um, well, fifty fifty. Okay. But you know, he's a uh, he's he's doing good. He's getting big, so that's yeah. all that matters. You know, that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, uh, as far as tattooing, I still see you. You put up, you know, hit me up. Uh, uh, do a lot of people? Uh, I guess I should ask. Do they ever like call you because they've seen you on so many podcasts and they're like, "I want a tattoo from that guy." Every day, bro. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of my clients come and they actually like. They want a fucking lesson rather where they're getting tatted, and it's like it's dope though. I, I like it, yeah. you know. So, so the people actually like what? Let's say somebody's laying there and getting his arm tatted, and he's like, "So, man, you know, how did you learn this stuff? Like, like what is it that they ask you?" <laughs> everything, bro. Everything you could think of, especially the fucking flat earth, you know. All really? That. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think that that flat earth thing is just so intriguing to them? I don't fucking know. I mean, it was it was to me too, but I don't know, bro. I have no idea. I, I don't know. Okay, okay. And and th- do you ever, like, play anything for them? Like, check this out, man. Oh, yeah. Watch that. Yeah, whatever. but my fucking, uh, you know, I'll end up being there forever, bro. Right, right, right. What, I know it varies, but what, um, 
what is the average tattoo? Let's just say I want to get something, you know, something right here on my arm. Mm. How long would something like that take? Say I want a skull. Um, maybe an hour and a half. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And let's just say somebody says, I want to get my entire back done. Can that be done in one day? Yeah. Really? Yeah. About, and about how many I'll, hours? I'll knock it out. It depends on the, you know, what I'm going to do with it. But maybe four, three, four or three hours. What's, four the, hours. Lo- what's the longest you ever did? On- I tatted all day, bro. I tatted from, um, fuck. But the same person? From, from not, yeah. From nine in the morning to about two in the morning. Mm-hmm. Wow. Took one break. Really? Yeah. But that must have been a pretty good payday, though. Oh, yeah. It was cool. Wow. I was, but my back, bro. I'm being uh, bent like tatty like that, like uh-huh. your back fucking. Do you prefer somebody to to talk to you when you or, or does it even really matter? To Man, you? it matters. It matters. It like the person I get some ghetto people and their conversation is like, "Fuck that! I don't want to talk about what you're talking about." Like you know, oh, yeah. What's so, up? Dude? Yeah, if I don't want to hear, I mean, I, it's bad for me, you know, <laughs> talking about it. But I'll put the music on louder, you know, like. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because there's just some people. I'm not going to say all people. I mean, obviously, I'm not there when you're tatting, but they'll talk some bullshit. Mm-hmm. And you'd rather just not hear it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You, you know, it's funny because um, <clears throat> when we were at the, to live and die in LA, I was there watching, like, maybe for about five minutes, and there was a bunch of tables there where people were getting chatted, bro. And I was just like, fuck, this world is actually really, really real. Because, I mean, growing up in the hood, you know, you see guys with Indian ink and a needle, and they're getting mi vida loca, or they get their tear after they've earned it. Or whatnot. They'll get their spider web on their elbow or whatnot. And, you know, but for me to actually have been there and to see all of these people getting tattooed, that's the first time I actually been in, in a, if you will, tattoo parlor where you got like maybe 10 to 15 people getting tatted, mm. you know. So do you ever attend like tattoo conventions at all? Yeah, I do. I don't, I don't, um, you know, join in, but uh-huh. I like to go. Yeah. Okay. Now, well, why... Why don't you join in? It does it, is it hard to get in? Do you have to know someone or you just don't really care? Um, I really don't care for it. Um, and then, I don't know, bro. I mean, I'm, I'm more like um, an old school mindset. Like um, tattoos, like they mean, they're supposed to mean something, you know? And everybody just want to be walking around without their shirt. Like if it's a thing to do and it's not. Like You know, g- growing up, because I've heard you mention, you know, growing up that people had to earn these tattoos. Yeah. Okay. Today, obviously, tattoo is a style. It's a fashion for a lot of people. Does it does it bother you when people get certain tattoos that they shouldn't? Not necessarily saying that you're giving it to them. Right. But when you see them getting certain tattoos, and and obviously, to get a certain tattoo, you have to be about that certain life. Yeah. And some of these people are getting these tattoos, and they're not about that life. Maybe they just get them off for a style or a fashion. Does that bother you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Definitely, that bugs the fuck out of me. Now, now, this tattoo right here that you have on your face right here, do you ever get any clients that tell you, I want that? Mm-hmm. And do you do it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I've, now, done it on, I've done it on two homies. That's okay. about it. Okay, say, say somebody, hypothetically speaking, some white dude comes from Kansas, mm. and he says, man, I drove all the way over here, you know, get a tattoo, man, but I want that one right there. Mm-hmm. It looks gnarly. Mm-hmm. You know, what would you tell him? I will tell him, no, bro. Like, I've, I've had people from other ethnic, you know, um, bloodlines or whatever, and um, they want to get our cultura. And nah, I can't. I can't. Right, I can't. Right. I won't. And this is kind of tough to, to, to speak on. But I want to ask you, because obviously Japan really loves our culture. Yep. You know, there, there's a certain group of people, a big group of people that really love our culture. Mm-hmm. In a magazine, I've seen some of those guys that have Islos, some even had Sur, and then I come to find out that they don't even speak English. Mm-hmm. Now, here's my thing. Would, would there be an issue with somebody here, let's just say from Los Angeles, that goes over there and says, man, I'm going to give these tattoos to people that never even deserved it or earned it and do it. Can a person like that... Um, how would you say get his car pulled? That's on site. Yeah, oh, you okay. don't fucking do it. You don't do that. Okay. Yep. Now, can those people that gotten those tattoos and they, they come to LA and they take off their shirt to show it off, 
Is it a bad move? It's all bad. It's all bad. All right. All right. So be careful, you guys, because it's, it's not safe in L.A. So, okay, today I called you earlier because um, I was finally had some time to watch Netflix, okay? And there's a, a show on that I want to recommend to you guys that I, I thought was pretty, pretty interesting. And every once in a while, I, I will, um, if you will, um, recommend certain movies, certain TV shows, certain books or whatnot certain documentaries, but this was somewhat of a little <coughs> documentary docu-series. And I'm trying to remember the guy's name, but it, uh, he's actually Kim on Joe Rogan. And they've talked about everything we're going to talk about right now, but he talked of, uh, it's called ancient apocalypse. Oh yeah. And that name intrigued me. So I just said, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and press click. So they talked, the first one they talked about was Indonesia and a certain part of Indonesia. And I have a hard time pronouncing it. I could, I could spell it to you guys, but I'm going to say, Ganung Padang. Ganung Padang. It's gun and then U-N-G. Ganung mm -hmm. and then pad and A-N-G. Padang. Ganung Padang. So mm -hmm. in Indonesia. So I'm trying my hardest, guys. I'm not <laughs> trying to butcher nobody's names. So this guy actually climbs a, a certain mountain and comes to find out that there's ruins there of an ancient pyramid. Mm -hmm. Now, I found that very intriguing because, you know, I'm fascinated by the pyramids, not only in Mexico, but also in Giza, in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Then, um, you know, they, they kind of went through that every pyramid, especially this one, had chambers underneath, like secret chambers. Mm -hmm. I thought that that was pretty interesting as well. And then come to find out, and this I didn't know, that the majority of all pyramids, especially this one, was uh, uh, built on top of a spring mm -hmm. for some reason. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I thought, well, wow, that's pretty interesting. You know, let, let me check out another episode, okay? So in this one, they took us to Mexico, uh -huh. to Mexico, bro. And I just thought that this one was pretty dope. This was in Puebla, Mexico. And this is called the Great Pyramid of Cholula, supposedly the biggest pyramid in all of Mexico. Mm. Okay, and, um, and, and I'm going to try to pronounce it, Nahuac, the language. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, that word, the Great Pyramid of, or, of Cholula, means handmade mountain mm -hmm. it's a pyramid mm -hmm. okay and uh i continue watching and of course that one was built upon a spring as well right and this one also had chambers as well mm -hmm. um so i found it very intriguing because even though i had only watched two episodes they were saying that the one in indonesia and the one in mexico almost had the same story in story of his origins uh -huh. that after s some catastrophic event happened, they said there was a, a global flood. Mm -hmm. Okay. That after the global flood and the waters receded, someone came on the boat, uh, uh, without no paddles, but two serpents mm -hmm. were, I guess, leading this, this man. And he came, uh, to Mexico and, um, that he, um, well, this is what mythology teaches us, right. what this man was saying. That after the flood, someone traveling by sea came and taught them agriculture, how to build great works in stone, <clears throat> knowledge of the stars, laws, etc. Then would leave and travel teaching other nations the same skills. So I just thought it was very intriguing how people in Indonesia almost had the same story that there was a flood. And then someone came and taught them agriculture, taught them laws, taught them, you know, the knowledge of the stars. And then Mexico almost had the same thing. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into it because I want people to check it out. But I just thought it was very interesting that something catastrophic had to happen. And then supposedly one man came mm -hmm. and taught them. Now, they're not saying it's the same man, obviously, but they almost have the same story. Mm. Are you familiar with any of these things? That are yeah, the the story of all the, all the pyramids. There, it's not only over there, bro. It's right, correct. Fucking everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, um, what they haven't mentioned though is the pyramids that are here. Okay, we're, we're gonna get to that. Go for we're it. We're gonna get to that. But let me mention some other places that they mentioned. Yeah, go for it. Obviously, uh, they mentioned uh, they gave by names um, the other pyramids that are in Mexico. So there's a lot of pyramids in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And then they gave, uh, obviously, the pyramids in Egypt. They gave the pyramids. Uh, they talked about the pyramids in Peru. They talked about the pyramids in Iraq, Cambodia, India, 
Sudan, and then they just kind of elaborated and stuff like that. But one thing that this guy said, who was narrating this whole uh, docu series, if you will, said uh, these uh, uh, things pyramids have in common. They were built upon springs and hid- hidden chambers. These structures are universally associated with very specific spiritual ideas. And this is the part that got me, that what happens to us after death, that these structures are universally associated with very specific spiritual ideas. What happens to us after death? And obviously that's a million dollar question that nobody knows. But now let's talk a little bit about what you said now, because now I'm interested in that as far as the pyramids that are here. Right. Well, the, the maps, you know, if you go back to the older map, um, the United, um, or whatever, where we live, um, is actually, um, ancient, bro. Like wow. the names have been changed, you mm-hmm. know, like, um, talk about, um, what's that? the fuck was that? What's that? Um, the Grand Canyon, right? Okay. That's, um, lower Egypt. Okay. And like, there's a big fucking pyramid right there, you know, but they have a military base right there where you, you can't go, you know? So a lot of them are, are, are possibly in ruins, possibly that nobody talks about. And then. Are you saying that some of them are still standing, but you're not allowed to actually go see them? So the real the real origin is here. Okay. But the replicas are over there. Okay. Okay. Now, when you think about it, and, and this is interesting to me, because, okay, we talked about Indonesia. We talked about Egypt. We mm-hmm. talked about Mexico. We talked about here. We talked about per- Peru. There's some there. Yeah. The idea was, and again, the, what they were teaching, that the majority of... <clears throat> of these stories go back to this one catastrophic event that there was a global flood mm-hmm. and that they they didn't want to be scattered abroad anymore so they built these high pyramids yeah to protect themselves if there was another catastrophe coming okay now whether that's true or not that's what he was saying uh, that oh they that's what they said on there right on oh. there okay again but I'm just saying that's that's just what yeah, they're saying. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we encourage everybody to do their own homework. Okay, uh, I'm not saying that I'm a scholar and you should believe me. I'm <laughs> yeah. not saying that. I'm, I'm just. I want to check that out though. Yeah, I'm definitely, I definitely just saying that it's very interesting. I think you guys check it out. And you guys make up your own mind. But I wanted to bring it up because I just found it very intriguing today to uh, about all these pyramids that are all over the world in different countries, and a lot of them have the same story. So I wonder, like. Why and why do what, what are pyramids and why are they everywhere? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, and again, it goes back to the story of supposedly this man that comes after this event and teaches them about the stars. Like, why why are the stars so important to the, to them, right, or to us, right? You know, I don't know if you can kind of like chime in on that. Well, I don't know if they they said on there like what do you tell? What do you, he didn't say nothing. No, they were that? just saying how a lot no. of the pyramids are aligned with the stars. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, the the stars are are energy, bro, energy. Okay. So they would um I don't know how to say it, bro. Like um, there. I mean, I don't know how to how to how to articulate it right here, bro. I would have to like show you. Sure, show yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, a, a lot of times it's always good that if you're going to teach something like this, it's always good to kind of like teach it PowerPoint where you show somebody yeah. a picture or you show somebody a video. No, and I understand that. But I just thought that that was very, very interesting because here we have pyramids all over the world. And where did that, I, where did that idea come from? Now, somebody shared uh, uh, something with me years ago. Whether this is true or not, once again, I'm going to leave it up to the people to decide. Mm-hmm. They were saying that in, in the book of Genesis, after the flood, right. now here we have another story of the flood, that um, Nimrod, obviously Semiramis, right, right. and their child T- Tammuz, they built a, I'm not going to say they, but the obviously, tower. they built a tower of Babel. Right, right. Okay. When, when, according to these passages, it says that God told them to be fruitful, multiply, and go and replenish the earth. In other words, scatter. Instead, they wanted to come together, build a city, build a tower, etc. The scriptures tell us that God destroyed the tower and confused their language, and they all went to the four corners of the earth, right. north, north, south, east, and west. Okay. The people that could understand each other took off. The, these people that could understand each other went here. Okay. This, someone shared with me that they were building a tower in Babel, which is modern day Iraq. So if they went to Indonesia, they built a tower, which is a pyramid. If mm-hmm. they went to Mexico, they built it. So they took 
and they built what they saw. Mm-hmm. And this guy will say that the origins of all of that was Babylon, which is uh, modern day Iraq. Again, oh, wow. I just thought it was interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's dope. Um, and another thing that he said was this. He said, if you really think about it, you got a lot of major religions that uh, uh, pray the same way they pray with beads. He said, Catholics, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists. Where did all that come from? And he goes, it could all be traced back, back to Babylon. I just thought these are the type of things that I like to study. And these are the things that I like to have conversations with, especially with Marvelous, you know. But um, what I should have had, I should have had pictures of all this. But uh, you know what? I just thought about this, you know, t- today. Mm-hmm. And I kind of, I hope I didn't catch you off guard with this. And I should have nah, cool, cross-referenced everything with you. But I just, w- w- uh, it's called Ancient Apocalypse. Check it out on Netflix. Very, very interesting. Anything you care to add to that? Um, nah, I'm, I'm going to check out that fucking Netflix thing. Though, okay, yeah. It's, it's, it. it's very interesting. Okay. Uh, let me see. But now, one thing I do want to ask, and this is kind of leading away from these uh, uh, these pyramids. These structures are universally associated with very specific spiritual ideas. That's what this uh, guy who's never rating said this. And he said, so what happens to us after death? Okay. I just thought that that was very interesting because so many people have always asked what happens to us after death. Obviously, some people will say there's a heaven, there's a hell. Some people say we just go to sleep. Some people say we, we just cease to exist. Growing up, Marvelous, what did you grow up hearing or listening to what happens after you die? Man, I grew up um, learning about heaven and hell. Right. Yeah, if you did bad, you know, whatever the fuck, you went to hell. If you did good, you made it to heaven. And later on, when I got all, you know, into, um, you know, church or whatever, um, to be saved and all that, you know, that you got to go to heaven and all that. But right. when, I, when I started learning, right. fuck, nah, it's none of that. Right, right. So, yeah, now, bro. Now, as far as other cultures, have you ever heard of other cultures uh, believing something else differently? Like, like I know, like, for an example, like the Egyptians, many of them believed that when you die, you, you bury something with you. So in the afterworld, you could take oh, it yeah, with yeah. you. Yeah. You know, like I've heard of that. What, do, do you know of any other cultures that might have believed something different or something? Uh, that what, what you're saying. And then um, about the version thing with the, the Muslim, the Muslims. Okay, yeah, yeah, the, the Muslims, I, I believe it was either 70 virgins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and but now the Mormons believe it's different, and, and it's kind of close because uh-huh. they believe 72 virgins. So they actually get two more. I didn't even know that. Yeah, they actually get two more. You know, so. so <laughs> Damn, it, I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, so look, look if, we guys, if we guys have any Muslims watching or any Mormons, when we open up the phone lines, I want you guys to call in and actually educate us because uh-huh. that's what I've heard and that's what I've been taught by people that left the Islamic religion, that's crazy. people that have left the uh, Mormon religion, and even some people that are still active in those religions won't necessarily talk about it, but it's all based on works. The more works you do, the more you go knocking at the door, the more you invite the church, the more, I guess, uh, I guess you get accepted or you earn your way into heaven. Now, met a guy really quick from the Middle East, and he told me that uh, um, if you kill yourself, like, you know how they call them those um, suicide bombers? Yeah. That if you were to kill yourself, not only would you get automatic acceptance into paradise. They didn't call it heaven into paradise Mm -hmm. that 25 members of your family also get to go. Okay. (laughs) Well, you will see rivers of wine and you get your 70 virgins, Mm -hmm. you know? I mean, so now you look at certain, certain people that don't have nothing. Uh Don't have no food, no water. Maybe killing yourself sounds better than being here. And then you're going to have a bunch of Nalgonas in the afterlife. <laughs> you, huh. you know. Fuck but, it. Yeah, but it, what gets me is those two are based almost on sex. I'm going to get 72 virgins. Yeah. I mean, look, let's be honest, bro. And I'm not trying to be funny. You only have one dick. Mm. So 72 or 70, you know, sometimes one is enough. <laughs> <laughs> You know, forget the afterlife right now, mm. you know. So anyways, once again, if we have any Muslims or any Mormons, come in and, and sh- share with us. Now, an, <laughs> a, another another uh, uh, um, religion 
like Je Jehovah's, they just believe you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. So I bring this up because this is the question that was ar uh, arose, that why are all these pyramids built? Well, a lot of them have uh, spir spiritual implications, meaning that it has something to do with where you go when you die. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, of course, I have to learn a little bit more about these things, but these are some of the things that popped out to me. Mm -hmm. So uh, now let me ask you, if somebody were to ask you, you know, all nonchalant, you're tatting them up, and he asks you, if you were to die today, Marvelous, where would you go? Go to my, my judgment. Okay. Yeah. So, and then um, I would explain, like, how I always explain it, bro. You know, go to my judgment, then come back as, you know, somebody in my bloodline. Mm. So now, so so now, somebody will say, oh, so you believe in reincarnation? Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, see like, growing up, I've heard of that. Uh-huh. But the way I've heard about it, it was almost made like a joke about it. Uh -huh. for, for an example, yeah, I'll probably come back as a fucking bird. Mm -hmm. Probably come back as a fucking lizard. And if you were to come back as an animal, what, what animal would you, you know, would you want to come back as? Probably as a bird so I could lay a nice hot one <laughs> on somebody. Hell nah. You know, you know so I'll, I'll have uh, Norby's leftover Taco Bell food. Get bubble guts and then just roll right by, <laughs> right by Norbert and lay a nice fucking hot one. For real, you know. <laughs> Fuck. What? Norbert said it's good luck when a bird shits on you. Fuck. All right. All right. But I just, uh, yeah. Hell okay. nah. Okay, let's change the subject now. Uh, moving on to a different topic. Okay. Something that we touched on, if you guys didn't check it out, check it out. Me and Norbert, we talked about this on Freaky Talk. Actually, we didn't talk about it. Somebody called in and said, Tony, have you heard about the 28 girls taken to the hospital for anxiety? Oh, yeah. Fainting after using the Ouija boards in Colombia. So 28 girls. So, you know, I would understand if it was one or two. Yeah, a gang of them. You know, maybe there was, you know, sniffing glue. You know, I don't know. But 28 of them, after playing with the Ouija board in school, my question would be, if I'm a parent, how did they get a hold of a Ouija board in school? Yeah. You know, that would be my first question. Somebody take it. You know, was did they find it at the lost and found? Uh -huh. You know, I don't know. But that they were all taken, and uh, supposedly the conditions of these girls haven't been released to the press. So when you heard of that, Marvelous, what was your first thoughts, I guess? Um. Like it's set up, bro. Like I think the the schools like have that, that uh -huh. shit there. You know, like they were selling them in Target. Yes, G glow in the dark ones too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so some of them actually even look like fucking um, um, they, they're pink. They, they try to make yeah, them look yeah, pretty yeah. for kids. Yep, yep. Now, now let's just say um, I'm a parent and I heard you say that, and I'm a parent of these these girls, and I say, what what, what what's wrong with that game? What what why can't they play with it? You got to hope that their parents are like woke or like, you know, spiritual people, you know, because if they're right. not, they're not going to be like, well, fuck you. I don't believe in none of that anyways, you know. Okay. Do, do you believe that there could be spiritual repercussions, I guess, from opening certain doors? Oh, when you hell yeah, bro. Okay. I bet you those girls are fucking like some, some demonic shit going on and they're not talking about it. Hey, you know what? You, you, you're right because they haven't spoken to anyone and, and they haven't released the conditions of the girls uh, to, to the press. Yeah. But for me, like... That's fucked up. Yeah, I, I, like I wouldn't necessarily have my kids, you know, or allow them to play that. I mean, my kids were never even curious because yeah, I, I never even brought that around them. You know, now some people may... Obviously, some people are probably looking and are, and are saying something like, you know, you guys are getting too carried away. It's just the board. You know, if you're thinking that, mm -hmm. you yourself are making, you know... how would you, You're becoming stupid by choice. Yeah. You know, because you're pretty much saying, you know, it's just a damn board game. Mm -hmm. Okay, then go play it. Yeah. Honestly, go play it. You know, you don't believe in Bloody Mary stand butt naked in front of the mirror at 12 o'clock with the lights turned off, <laughs> say Bloody Mary. Go ahead, I dare you. Try yep. all those things that you say, see what happens. You're yep. going to open up a door some, somewhere. Yep, yep. So. I believe it. Now, now, as far as, you know, opening doors, you know, uh, uh, would those doors be considered portals or yeah. is that something totally different? No, portals. Okay, okay. And uh, have you ever heard any Ouija uh, board stories growing up? Um, yeah, I heard a gang of, uh, uh, yeah, it's crazy shit happening, bro. Mm. Like, 
no. for and haunting them for years though yeah. like like not even that, that just that day like it, it's still going on you know oh okay, okay. so why would you even fuck with, like why would you want that like yeah. i don't know you know some people don't believe though bro that's why they fucking you know they they they, they want to see you know no it's true uh, the curiosity mm -hmm. yep you know a ver qué va a pasar <laughs> oh shit yep yep you know yeah that I, I i wouldn't fuck around with that you know, my thing is that they actually, they sell them at Toys R Us, at Target. Mm -hmm. They sell them at KB's. They sell them at all these places, bro. And so it's not hard to find, but I just don't get it. Like, you already know that you shouldn't be fucking around with certain things. Yeah. You know, but um, now let me ask you, have you ever played with one? Fuck no, bro. I would never do that. I don't even want that shit in my pad. Like, if you play with it, don't, don't you're not coming over that week, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Okay, I, I'm gonna have a confession. Okay. Oh hell no. Nah. Hold on, confession time. I'm out. <laughs> right, confession time. It was what's, what's up? Because over here looking at me like you, oh. you saw a shadow behind me, motherfucker. He's like, what is he gonna say? <laughs> okay. Hell no. Nah. Fuck that. Okay, here's the confession. I want to <laughs> say it was like maybe 1987. Um. I got invited to some girl's house and they were all getting high. They were all shermed up and shit. And uh, what happened was um, one of them said, hey, you guys want to play a Ouija board? What the fuck is that? So I brought it out. I had never seen one in person. I would only seen, seen it in the movies. And you didn't know about it? I just. You knew about it, bro. I did. I did. But I'd never seen it before. Mm -hmm. So they brought it out. So two girls. And again, it, it, it sucks because. Two good-looking girls telling me, play with us, play mm. with us. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> so I get in the middle, they get over here. And the thing, the thing was, thank God it never worked. It never worked. We, we tried and we were like, oh, you're moving it. No, you're moving it. I'm not moving it. And then after maybe like 15 minutes of asking the yes or no questions, it was pretty stupid. I just said, it probably needs fucking batteries. You know, mm -hmm. that's what I just said, playing mm -hmm. around. I go, the fucking boogeyman ain't going to show up. Mm. So, I'll tell you something though, but I, I won't tell you. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll tell you guys. Um, so, she brought out the pencil thing. You, you, you ever do the pencil thing? Fuck. Tell me what it is again, bro. Okay. I think I know what you're talking about though. Hmm. Here's what happened She brought out six pencils. She goes, if that doesn't work, this will work. Mm. That's what she said. Mm. All right. <laughs> so, we take one pencil, then we take the other pencil. So you kind of make it like this, and you hold them like this. Mm -hmm. So in, in the shape of a U, you hold them at the, like this, okay? She has them. I have them. And you ask a question? Yes. So we grab them now, uh -huh. and we face each other. Uh -huh. Okay, so remember, these pencils are facing this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a pencil like this. So when you put them together, you ask it a question. Uh -huh. And I'm not sure if it's... If the right goes up, that's a yes. And if, and if the left goes down, it's a no. Mm. But that fucking really worked, bro. Oh, damn. That really fucking worked. Now, I know you guys are probably going to like, yeah, go get some pencils. You know, that, that shit really fuck. And let me tell you some, Marv. This really, I really feel energy on, the, on these ones right here. Mm. Is anybody there? And, and bro, I just held these right here. We didn't move anything. Is anybody there? And then this shit just, like, the pencils went like this. They uh -huh. were like, they went like this. <laughs> and then they would go back. And then on the other side, when they said no, they would just go. Uh -huh. It was weird, bro. That one was weird. And then finally I asked it, are you a demon? And that shit went up, bro. Damn. I, just, I said, I'm fucking good. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm fucking up. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to talk to homegirl anymore after that. Like, fuck that. Hell no. Nah. She be riding me. I, I open my eyes and I see a fucking demon face. Uh, I hell told nah. you I could get crazy. Exactly. That was a ride from hell. Hmm. So, anyways. Now, let me ask you this, Mark. <laughs> say you meet a nice, beautiful girl. Everything you ever wanted in a girl. You, hypothetically, say you meet her. Yeah. But she straight tells you, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a fucking bruja. And you know what? Uh, I do a lot of, you know, satanic shit. Uh huh. Could you still date her? No. Nope. And say to yourself, mm -hmm. you know what, Tony? I really like her. She just doesn't do that stuff around me. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Mm -mm. Okay. Nah, bro. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Okay. 
But why? I'm sure there's girls out there watching. Because like, that energy, bro, like that 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 shit lingers, homie. Like, and then when you enter them, like that that goes into you, homie. Like, nah. When you enter them, like when you yeah, born. when you're sexually, like you know, you become one with that for real. That's real. Now, can a spirit uh -huh. travel from her to you in sexual intercourse? Oh yeah, not even do do that just by us right here. Really? Yeah. Wow. Shit. All right. That's why when you're around certain people, you fucking, you gossip and shit. Or somebody might have better, or you do better things. It's because the, the, the amount of angels and demons that are around you, bro. You know what? And on the other foot, let me say this. Mm -hmm. When people say sit with winners, the conversation is different. Very mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. When you sit with negative people. Yeah. We talked about a little bit about that energy that certain people carry. Yeah. Uh, there are certain people that I have been around with that. In español se dice, esa persona es una persona mala. Okay, when we say this, that's a bad person. We don't know what to do behind closed doors, but it's fucking oozing out through them where you can sense it, you can feel it. Yeah. This motherfucker's no, or she's no good. Like, right. literally no good. She, yeah. Wherever she goes, that fucking, that dark fucking cloud follows this person. <laughs> Man, it's true. Uh huh. It's true. And let me tell you something. Many of you guys have compromised in relationships with people like that because you have nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. You have nowhere to go. Either the guy doesn't want to fucking work or the girl doesn't want to fucking work mm -hmm. and they'll just sit there. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, that guy has a fucking Santa Muerte in the closet. Yeah. And then you wonder why the fucking Grim Reaper stands over you when you sleep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Real. Real. You know, oh no, baby, he doesn't mean anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, um, but you know what? <clears throat> My thing is this, that when we open up the phones, I want you guys to call in. And if there's anything that we might have said that might have, uh, you know, any questions or it might have pissed you off, call in. <laughs> but um, Real. anything you want to add to the whole negative energy thing? You, you know what? Uh, let, let me ask you this. What are some of the ways, man, that some people can attract that negative energy? Is it just by hanging around people, uh, certain people? Is it, is it things that you do? Because I'm sure there's people out there probably think, wondering, like, man, what the fuck did I do, bro? Because everywhere I go, shit falls apart for me. Yeah. I mean, I think it could be a form of being, you know, tested, bro. Like, you know? But then, again, I know just ugly people that attract ugly people, you know? So, just be fucking very careful. Don't believe anything that anybody tells you, you know? Like. Right. You, you know what? Marva, I. I trip out when I see people that don't know each other, okay? I had an incident one time where this one guy uh, came against me, mm. and he started going live, okay? Wow. Talking about me, mm. saying nasty things, and this was a guy that I considered a friend at one point. Right. Then he joins, he gets in cahoots with another guy that I knew the guy was bad. Mm. I knew the guy was bad. Mm. And I'm thinking, how did these two find each other? And you said it when two ugly people, mm. like they will find each other. Mm -hmm. and, and we're not talking about necessarily appearance, mm -hmm. even though they were ugly. But, but we're talking about something inside of them. Mm -hmm. It almost attracts those people. Yeah. Then they got with another guy, came against me. Then they got with another person. And I'm thinking... It's no coincidence that these all people got along just fine. You know why? Because their demons know each other. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Yep. Their demons know each other. Mm -hmm. So if you're if you're having an issue or a problem with someone, and all of a sudden that person is coming against you, and he goes out and try to find anybody just to come against you, most likely you know these people. Mm -hmm. They're not strangers. Yeah. They're people you know, but you know what? They're they are what we that Greek word. Uh, hypocrite which means the whole time they were around you they wore a mask they were acting to be someone they're not yep. and eventually their mask fell off and you got to see their ugliness and they attract other ugly people and they come against you mm -hmm. okay negative energy bad people cut those people off stop trying to give those people chances because many people are already set in their ways Marv. Yeah, they're already set yeah. no matter how many times you try to talk to them they're, they are already set in their ways. Yep. So, you ever run any, into any people like that? All the fucking time, bro. Mm hmm Okay. 
Moving on to something that somewhat made headlines. The New York subways slash zombies. Mm -hmm. Care to elaborate on that? So um, they're spraying the subways um, heavily right now with um, a chemical. I'm not sure of the what, what it is, but they're, they're spraying them. They've been spraying them for months now. And um, they recently went on, on the air, the news uh, uh, casters over there, and said that um, if there was going to be any type of zombie apocalypse, that's what's going to start. So, I mean, they always reference, you know, what before shit happens. Right. How it's going to fucking happen. Right. And then it happens. So. You, you know, okay, here's what gets me about that. Because Joe Biden's silly ass a couple of times was quoted for saying, you know, we got to get ready for the next outbreak. Yeah, yeah. What next outbreak, mm -hmm. fucking asshole? Yep. You know, it's something that you guys are going to do. Yep. You know? Fact, fact. Bro, and I'm thinking, okay, you're going to shut everything down again? Mm -hmm. This is this is a dude that's had the fucking shots, the fucking boosters, and his old ass caught COVID <laughs> several times. <laughs> fucking Michael Myers hair looking motherfucker. And, Crazy. And now they're spraying <laughs> the subways with, with a so-called chemical. Probably saying they're cleaning it, disinfecting mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But now they're talking about, oh, if anything were to break out, it, there should be a fucking a zombie fucking outbreak. Yeah. It could be traced back to here. Is that yeah. what you're pretty much they're saying? They're saying that it's going to start right there. Now, when, when we think zombies, you know, the first thing that I think about, I think about uh, fucking Dawn of the Dead. Mm -hmm. You know, I think of that movie with Brad Pitt. What was it called? World Z? Yeah, I like that movie. That movie was fucking I crazy. like that yeah, movie, yeah. too. Did you see the one on Netflix uh, with um, Batista, that guy? Um Army of Dead or... Nah. Army some, it's actually pretty damn good. Dawn of the Dead, that one was bad, though. Yeah. The, now, are you talking about the, the, the 1970s one? I think it was... Nah, the, nah. Or are you talking about the... Because the there's a remake. One. Yeah, the new one. Yeah, where the guys run like humans. Mm -hmm. That that shit was scared the yep. shit out of me. Yep. If I ever saw a motherfucker chasing after me with fucking Alka-Seltzer fucking saliva coming <laughs> out of his fucking mouth. For real, for real. You know? Oh my God. I mean, the other day, day Norbis had a burrito supreme with extra sour cream. And I thought he was foaming at the mouth. <laughs> for like, real, for real. No. <laughs> I was about to hit his ass. With... Anyways, but okay. So now let me ask you this. Do you believe that a zombie outbreak can actually happen? Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. now, now let's, let's talk a little bit about when we say zombie, because some people think, okay, Something you die and then you come back, mm -hmm. or is this more of a hypnosis thing? Like you don't know who the fuck you are, that you're just wandering the street like a tweaker. I believe that that one? that and the frequency that's being emitted to you, okay, will cause aggravation. Because I, I, let's be honest, there are some people that are heavily into drugs, right? That don't even know who the fuck they are anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, the other day I went to breakfast. I think it was like I went super early. It was like maybe seven thirty, seven o'clock. I was in San Pedro right here, and um, I saw a fucking tweaker. Una muchacha, she was probably maybe mid-20s, uh, walking around her fucking panties in a sweater, barefooted. You know, rubbing her nose, her hair looked like fucking Rod Stewart. Her mm -hmm. eyes were like fucking, you know, fucking veins looked like a roadmap to China. You know, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but but I, I think, is that a form of fucking zombieism? You know, tweakers? I don't think I don't think that is. But I Okay. Mean, I don't know. All right. When I think of zombie, I think of somebody fucking by, trying to get the fuck to like gonna kill you or yeah. you know? Now do you think that can happen? Yeah, bro. I think that I know that's gonna happen. Like I don't know, you know, people could call that crazy, but nah, fuck that. Well, but there's just too many talks about that. Nah, but there's video footage of it happening, bro. Yeah? Yeah, fuck yeah. Shit. So now it, it let me see. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, what, what, what would you call a person that uh, that is alive but eats people? Just a cannibal? Cannibal, mm. a sick motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, uh, no, we call him Jeffrey Dahmer around here. That's what we call him. Mm -hmm. Because that guy was literally eating the fucking cock. Hey. You know? Mm-hmm. Cartilage and all, you know. <laughs> See, those are real videos of of, of things happening, mm. bro. That one. There's another one that's fucking crazy. The guy was eating the fuck out of somebody. This one, dude. This one's fucking crazy, bro. Wow, are zombie viruses really spreading that chick in the was world? Crazy. 
Wow. Well, you know what? Now you know. If, if Norbert shows up at your house, fucking with sour, uh, I mean, with foaming, that's not sour cream. But okay? naked. Yeah, butt naked. <laughs> Gay. Yeah, showing off his little chicharron. Huh. <laughs> okay. Zombie apocalypse. Fuck. With a massive pipe. Nine, yeah, right. <laughs> nine inches of limp dick. Huh. So. Two inches, but thicker than the can of soup. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what, uh, Alex, on the live chat, go ahead and put, do you believe, Alex, do you believe Crazy a shit. zombie outbreak is possible or could happen? Okay. Go, go, ahead, go ahead. Okay, I, I had uh, another vote right here. I, I, I asked the live chat, when did you find out time changed? 265 votes. Uh, 55% said I knew beforehand. 25% said I didn't find out till this morning. I know, me too. Same. And 24% said um, I, I was unaware till right now. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. That's yeah. Norby's. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and ask the zombie question. And, and um, my thing is this, Marvelous, and, and I know you don't work for the government, oh, but let me ask you this. If there was an outbreak... Of these zombies. Mm. Do you believe that they have a cure for it or or no? Or do you think they're pretty much gone? Man, I don't know. That's a fucking good one. Um, I think, I mean, it's possible, but I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't fucking know. And, and do you think it could be like a virus where it could spread? You know, like in the movies when they bite you uh. and that shit. Now you're a fucking zombie. Do you think that could happen? I don't know. I think, yeah, I think it's it, interesting. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I don't know, though. Wow. Okay. Shit, I'd rather get a hickey than a fucking turn into a zombie bite. Mm. But, okay. <laughs> what the fuck you guys laughing at? Hmm. Okay. Pentagon UFO chief says, alien mothership in our solar system possible. Now, Norbers, if you want to talk a little bit into the mic, let me ask you this, because you're the one that brought this, you're the guy that brought this up. You said that three days ago they released a statement that the Pentagon is now saying that there is a possible mothership out there in space. Correct. That is correct. Okay. Anything else you care to fill us in? Uh, actually, you know what? I have to really look more into that because there is a lot of speculation. I mean, there's actually videos out there that supposedly show how this mothership looks like. Right. But why in the fuck would they release that? Well, I mean, a lot of people would say maybe like the Chinese balloon is just another distraction for something that's really happening in the world. Right. But you know what? We always say that whenever something fucking happens, that's just a distraction. That's just a distraction. We always, that might be it. That might be it. You know, you know, no, no there's got to be, you know, number went to Taco Bell. No, there's got to be something else. It's got to be something else. Well, it's interesting that the, the the Pentagon is the one that's taking uh, <clears throat> making making this happen. I mean, they are in charge of our military. These guys have the nukes. They can blow up anything they want whenever they want. So it's a little, I don't know. It's it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, <laughs> marvelous. What do you think about that statement? Do you really believe there's something out there? Not fuck no. There's not, okay. bro. That's a lie. Okay. A lie. Now, do you believe if there is some type of flying craft that we would call unidentified flying uh -huh. object, it's our own? You, you right. believe that? Yeah. Okay. One hundred okay. one million percent. Uh, I believe that too. Yeah. I know people will say, no, no, UFOs are real. You know, did you see E.T.? You know, uh, I just don't believe that some fucking green dude is going to come down one day and say, take me to your leader. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. I know some people may get mad at me for me saying that, but I need to see more than just a picture of somebody throwing a fucking hook cap in the middle of the air and say, mm -hmm. look, mm -hmm. you know, I need more than that. I need to see a green guy. That guy did that, huh? Yeah. A, a lot of people, have done, a lot of people have done that, man. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, the, the only one that we have is the one we say the weather balloon. Here's another balloon story. Uh, uh, Roswell, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Remember they said, oh, it was just a weather balloon. No, it was a UFO. No, it was. Didn't you watch fucking, uh, what was that movie with Will Smith? Uh, uh, Independence Day. See, they found one. <coughs> That's a fucking movie, dude. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe there's any green people out there. And again, if that struck a nerve, make sure when we open up the phone line, phone lines, you guys call in. Um, now, 
again, if you had to guess, if there were flying objects, flying crafts out there, Marvelous, what do you think they're there for? Deception? Yeah, to deceive us, bro. Like, um, to take away the whole um, meaning of, of you being special. You know, they want to, they want you to believe in fucking that Big Bang, Darwin's theory, fucking that we get, there's planets and all this bullshit. Like, nah, fuck no, there's not. We're enclosed. Like, we, we ain't going nowhere. We haven't been nowhere. Okay. Now, when you say nowhere, just elaborate for the first time that somebody's watching Marvelous for the first time and they've never heard what you believe. Yeah. So when you say that there's a firmament above us. Right. Are you saying that there's somewhat like a, a, a force shield? Or right. Correct. Around us? Yep. So. You can't penetrate it, bro. You can't go past it. It's a so, barrier. So when people say we've been to the moon, what do you say? You haven't. The, the moon is uh, made of plasma. You can't. You go right through it. So so there's no like, there's no matter. No, like, there's no matter. Wow. Wow. I bet you a lot of you guys just got your socks blessed off but, um, by that one. Let me tell you, the sun is made of fucking, um, you know, it's a burning fireball. And wow. then it's in space. There's no, there's no oxygen in space. How in the fuck is the fire burning? Do your homework, guys. Okay. Um. So obviously, there is no UFOs out there that are going to penetrate and no. come through. And an unidentified object or whatever is unidentified to you, mm. not to them. Everything reference is for us, like not them. Okay. Now, if somebody were to ask you, an intelligent design, do you believe that there is a God? Yeah. Okay. And when God created the world, do you believe He created? Uh, uh, what, where, what we call earth here? Mm -hmm. Okay. And he's the one that put the firmament? Correct. Okay. Okay, that'll work. Uh, um, I just wanted you to elaborate a little bit because I want people to call in later on and ask you, you know, uh, some of these interesting questions. So now, but the thing that gets me is because, wasn't it last year, Norbert, that they were saying that uh, the U.S. military or somebody was about to release um, information that we have been visited, that there are... Uh, um, uh, UFOs, there are, uh, I mean, they, 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 they're pretty much admitting that there is. Well, yeah, that was also the Pentagon that uh, was uh, putting out the information like that. And again, I, I want to clarify, I'm pretty sure it is a distraction because as far as I know, during, around that same time, the Pentagon lost like, I think, 200 maybe, followers on Facebook? No, I think it was <laughs> close to uh, $3 billion that they can't find. And uh, they suddenly came out with reports about aliens. So I'm pretty sure, like I said, it's a distraction. Like a wow. lot of things are, they're using that as a way to distract us. But I do have a question for you two. By any chance, did you ever hear of a theory that those UFOs might be demons or of some course. sort of entity? Mm -hmm. Yes. I, go ahead. No, go for it, bro. Yes, I, I, I've heard that. I've heard that. And... um um, I've always heard both because of my father growing up. He believed in UFOs. Uh -huh. Okay. He, he literally believed in aliens from, you know, outer space. Uh -huh. And he also believed that one day that they're going to come and make contact with us here. I do believe that one day these things are going to make contact with us here, but they're already here and it's from us. It's mm -hmm. an inside job. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe in. Yeah. He didn't believe that. Okay. Right. He also believed that one day Jesus will come back in a UFO. And he would, the, the crazy part is, he would use the same scriptures that these so-called scholars would use on the A&E channel. Mm -hmm. You know, when the children, Moses let, let the, the children of Israel out of Egypt by day, he followed the pillar uh, of a cloud. Mm -hmm. By night, he followed a uh, fire in the sky. See, Antonio, those are all UFOs. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, Elijah, when he was taken up in the chariot of fire, mm -hmm. He was taking up a UFO. Like he would use these things and say mm. there were there was aliens. And then mm -hmm. Ezekiel, there was a wheel in the middle of a wheel, and in the middle had a face of a man. See that right there, another UFO. So he would. I was just like, okay, okay. Then I started to look a little bit more into it, and then I heard it from uh, another aspect where they say, no, these are just evil spirits. Mm -hmm. You know. Then they also gave scripture. They, 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 it's funny how. A lot of these so-called scholars never refer to any other book other than the Bible. Right. You know, 
but when we, when we refer to it, they call us religious freaks. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, because they say you know Satan is the prince of the power of the air, and how he has different rankings and dip, with different uh, demons. So, um, but yes, no. But to answer your question, yes, I have heard that. Whether do I believe that? <laughs> I don't know. The jury's still out. But mm -hmm. I, I would lean more to that than green aliens coming from outer space. What about you, Morris? Yeah, same here, bro. I believe I believe the same thing. Um, that that's um, aircraft or our technology from the fallen, you know, okay. that was given to us. Yeah, you, you know, and it's funny you say that about uh, given to us. Okay, mm -hmm. Alex Jones. A lot of you guys know Alex mm -hmm. Jones is okay. Um, before Joe Rogan moved to Texas, he uh, was actually based out here in LA. Okay. And uh, Alex Jones comes out here, he gets drunk, gets high. Well, I, I don't think he even smoked, but he, uh, he was drinking whiskey with Joe Rogan. And uh, he starts saying how the elitists here on earth meet with, uh, they get together so often, they take psychedelic drugs and then they go into a certain room and then they meet with these oh, so-called, yeah. you know, <laughs> uh, intergalactic beings. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, he just clearly said, he goes, he, they meet with demons. Mm -hmm. He goes, and they, these demons literally give technology ideas to us for us to build mm -hmm. you know he said that's where we're getting our technology ideas from mm -hmm. do you think as what does it mean sound to people out there that there's some truth to that yeah i do i believe that too i do believe yeah. to, to a certain extent yes mm -hmm. i do believe that and because let me tell you something if the guy was just a kook mm -hmm. if he was just crazy why did they ban him from all social media. I believe it, bro. You know, if the guy's just a crazy kook, they just like, you know, you just don't listen to him. Mm -hmm. No, but they, they, they did away with them. Yep. You know? So anyways, other than that, uh, anything on the super chat before we, we take the, the, the calls. You didn't you uh, want anything else to drink, bro? No, I'm good, bro. Thank okay. you. All right, uh, 94 image, drop 199. I'm Mexican and not in a gang. Can I get an Aztec tat? Yeah, you could get you could get uh, culture tattoos, yeah. Okay, so nothing but wrong it, with culture. Yeah, just when it comes to, like, you know, other stuff. Right. I'm not going to talk about it right here, but, yeah. No, but you at least educate them if they approach you face-to-face. -face right, I want yeah, this. I'll tell them. Okay. All right, hands on, drop 499. Question for both. Have you guys seen the show The Last of Us or played the game? No, mm -hmm. played the game is a song by Queen, but uh, hey. um, but no, I have not seen it. All right, and uh, that is all for now. Okay, let's go ahead and, and put up that um, that number, Alex. Let me go ahead and uh, and get the. Okay, let me know when I'm plugged in. You there? You Please go. About them real quick, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. Then let's not put the number up yet. Give me one okay, minute, homie. Go, go for it. Go for it. Okay, he's got to go take a leak. Yeah, so. It's all good. You know what? I got some beer there for you guys. If you guys want to, if you guys want to go ahead and do that. But we're still waiting for your birthday. I know. March twenty eighth. But if, but 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 Alex Alex is not gonna wait. He he he's uh um he's pre planning. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Okay, hold on. We're not gonna take calls right now. Just give me give us one second. Give us one second, you guys. So, Tony, do you have any plans for your birthday? I, I want to throw a little get together, bro. I want to go live. You know what's funny, bro? I had said that I was going to lift up my shirt and have people see my six pack. My two daughters got pissed off at me and said, You're not going to do it. So, uh, if any of you guys want to see a picture, uh, just DM me and I'll send it to you. So. <laughs> Yeah, they were like, how could you do that? And I was like, all right. So, anyways, it's all right. It's all right. Okay, ooh, ooh. let me see. So, Alex didn't get off pedal. So <laughs> this is pre-party. So, let's go ahead and let's go to open up those lines, you guys. Go ahead. Who's going to be our first caller? We're, we're not going to be up, up late, so we're going to try to take as much as calls as you, we can. So, go ahead. Put us in the middle. Okay, here we go. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? So, this is the homie Kike from the city of Escondido. Kike, ¿cómo estás, bro? 
Bien, carnal. How you guys doing? What's up, Marvelous? What's up, Tony? Uh, I don't know if Alex or Norby is there. What's up to them? Yeah, they're here. They're eating Taco Bell and drinking tequila. What's up, homie? Um, hey, um, I'm glad you guys talked about the uh, the whole pyramid topic today. Um, a while back, I called about that same thing about the uh, the pyramids in the in the Grand Canyon, uh-huh. and uh, how they had also found the the skeletons of giants. And pretty much, uh, you know, the Smithsonian has covered and pretty much all the traces of anything that they found there, anything from like uh, Egyptian writing on the walls to the uh, skeletons of a Nephilim to whatever treasures may have been hidden there at one point. And uh, you guys already talked about too about how the uh, United States government. Um, has restricted all access, uh, including on the airspace and on the ground to uh, civilians. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, I just thought that was pretty dope. You guys brought that up. And um, on another point, uh, you guys were talking about how the Mormons, I believe, and the uh, and the Muslim people uh, pretty much said they were guaranteed a uh, seventy-two or seventy virgins when they died. Correct. Correct. Okay, yeah. so um, on this one, on this one, I'm gonna take the royal T route, homie. Just give me four <laughs> filthy whores, and I'm good to go. <laughs> All good, homie. What the fuck? <laughs> All good. Yeah, yeah, you know. Hey, thanks for taking the call. Hey, fucking, I'm, I love the show, homie. Keep doing your thing and shit, and uh, gobble gobble, bitch. Nah, I mean, okay, brother. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's keep it going. Here we go. Call your name. Hey, what up, Tony? Uh, how you guys doing tonight? Good, my brother. Where you calling from? I'm from Escondido, California, bro, from uh, North County, San Diego. All good, my bro. You got a question, comment, or complaint? Yeah. So look, so I'm a, um, so I have a, a couple topics that um that you guys uh just uh like uh scratch a little bit. So I do believe that aliens are demons. Or angels, um, that's for sure. That's that's what I think too, bro. Okay. And also, um, I uh, um, also have you guys heard about the Nephilims in the Solomon Islands? Um, and 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 you guys could answer this question um after um I just give the topics if, if you guys want to, or if you guys have the um know about it and stuff. And also, you guys should check out the Sean Ryan show. He had this um um. I, I'm not sure if you guys heard about this guy. Um, he's uh, he actually um, talks to every president. Um, he uh, debriefs every president since I think um, I think Nixon, I believe, if I'm correct, I'm not sure. Um, till till the president president and uh, about aliens and stuff. But this guy's name is Doctor Stephen Greer. Uh, his last name G R E E R, and he gives um um here uh, I have his. his, his his little so so he's uh um so he he talks about mystery uh mysteries behind UFOs, UAPs, alien phenomenon and the secret government. And he straight up just says like he's like bro like uh more like uh basically um like an interview he talks about um um about there being a secret government and uh the reason why he's um doing all this is, is because um because he's uh ba- like basically like if there is uh, well, there is a secret government. Then we're living a fake life, honestly. You know, well, like if you're spiritually connected, then you aren't living like no fake life. You're you're living towards uh, a greater purpose, you know, and 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 working towards heaven and everything, you know. But uh, I mean, um, just in this country, though, you know. Okay. But um, those topics are the topics that I wanted just to uh, uh, if you guys could tap in on them, you know. Okay. But well, uh, yeah, man, I love you guys, show man, and uh, for sure. Okay, ho- hold on. As far as the Nephilim, where did you say they were? The Solomon so, Island. um, in the Solomon Islands. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. I, I, and, I, I believe and, that and, Nephilims existed. Uh, do they still exist? And have you heard about the Solomon Islands? Yeah. So they were they were basically everywhere, bro, in every okay. in every tribe. Like there were just as many of, of uh-huh. them yeah. as us today. Okay. Um, people think about the Nephilim and they think about like all these big old fucking giants that supposedly are cut. There have video footage of it now, but that's not the case. Their bloodline is still here, but their phenol has changed like the, um, through the, through like women that they've been with or whatever. And some of them are, are, are high, bro. Like, you know, that, that, that Nephilim blood still runs through their, through their Mm. body. You know, they don't have to be fucking 10, 15 feet tall, you know? Okay. 
Okay. Yep, yep, exactly, bro. What was the other one about the secret government? Yeah, so um the the guy's name is Dr. Stephen Greer, G R E E R and he uh, g- just gave a um an interview like a full on interview um on this uh guy's podcast called the Sean Ryan show and um his video um his his interview uh will will will, will be there once you guys um uh just look in the videos that he has on there but um it's a very interesting um interview and he talks about like everything even about the JFK Marilyn Monroe thing and like he about everything bro everything man and um it it really put me up on game up about yeah for sure Tony for sure like you know like um um and yeah um marvelous man I love how you're like how you're just spiritually like like nothing phases you bro like um you're right about them trying to like uh uh um like lie to us basically that um that aliens are there and everything bro like nah man like it's I mean well my belief is that um it's it's angels bro angels or and and demons um um but uh and and didn't didn't in the bible it it said that the devil actually was the one that gave us the wisdom of fire Mm -hmm. but what this is about though bro not to not to cut you off or anything but this is about fucking bloodline right here it's about bloodlines and the bloodline, the bloodlines uh-huh. that that are that are not of the uh, of that hybrid fucking race, and they're trying to wipe us out, like real shit. They're trying to wipe us out. This is back. That's why it's so important to know your fucking tribe or where you come from, or at least try to know. Uh huh. They yeah, want to wipe yeah. out our and our, actually, um, our DNA holds uh-huh. that frequency, that that higher gamma, bro. That that produces that frequency for us to break the firmament, to go for our spirit to go. They can't. They're trapped under here. Those spirits are trapped under here. And those are the ones that try to torment and fucking possess all of us down here. They try to embody us. They can't. Uh huh. You know. And it went when we exactly, when we're exactly, manipulated man. and oh. they use our frequency against us to manifest their change. That's when it fucks us up, bro. And we we ended up fucking us up. We fuck up ourselves by worshiping all this other shit, by eating their fucking food, by mm-hmm. by worshiping their shit, like all that. You know. So that's why it's, it's, we got to fucking get. To the basics of knowing who the fuck we are, you know. Yeah. Exactly, bro. Exactly. I mean, uh, uh, marvelous. Uh, you might have a, a, a knowledge about this. Uh, what do you know about CMOS? Um, I just, uh, yeah. Uh, what do you know about CMOS, or have you tried it? Yeah, bro. I used to sell it. CMOS is is good. It has um, you know, about 102 mi- minerals that your body's already composed of, pure alkaline. You know, so it, it, it's good. You know, for you to have that uh-huh. or drink or drink it in the morning. Or whatever, you know. Just make sure the uh-huh. uh, the the CMOS that you're buying is like the real the real one. You know, there's a fake one that they sell on 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 these fucking um these sites or whatever. It's not real, bro. So you got to make sure it's the real it's the real thing. All good. And if you yeah, get yeah, because my with homie you. um yeah, no, for, no. Well, actually, um, my uh, my um, I just took um three ounces of it and I mixed it up and everything and I, and, I, and I just finished it uh five days ago and stuff. You know, um, uh, my friend, he, he has uh, from Tijuana, I, I believe so. And, um, he's, he's a roster dude. So like, he's very, uh, tapped into his spirits or well, like his, his spiritual side. And like, um, and we're, we're working on something too, bro. So we're going to be up on YouTube soon. And, and, uh, and, um, yeah, man, just, um, I'll, 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 I'll tap in with you guys, uh, uh, soon again. And uh, one more thing, um, you, you guys should check out this uh, channel too on YouTube called Sling. S L I N G and Stone Sling and Stone. It's a Christian based um uh it's a but like uh, I mean if if you know what 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 uh religion you are I mean it, we're all the same thing you know um if if you believe in God but that's where um I be getting some of my, my knowledge from too. He 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 talks about everything from uh the Nephilim, uh the missing people and portals like in national parks, the last pope and and like um how about this um. They actually just did a um, a one world religion, um, and they're building a church of Abraham in uh, in Israel. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, my brother. Uh-huh. Appreciate and, um, you. And uh, all right, guys. Have a good night. You too, homie. Okay. I want to be mindful of, of everybody getting the call in. I try not to do no more than five minute calls, but that one was already seven minutes. So you got to kind of like respectfully, <laughs> you know, let people know. Call her your name and where are you calling from. Don Perruco. These guys always get in. All, 
all these guys always get in, you know? So you guys don't cry and say, how come I can't get in? These guys get in. Okay, go for it, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They just, they, they just don't understand that there's a little delay. I mean, it's common sense, I guess, to some people. But anyways, uh, first of all, Mars, I seen that interview uh, with Spider Loke. That was dope. Appreciate and, you, bro. Um, so I, I had a couple questions for you, uh, Mars. So you say you you don't believe in, you don't think aliens are real, right? That that kind of what your um, what do you call it perspective or right? Definitely. Is that what you think they? Yeah, definitely not. There's no such thing as alien. An, an alien, okay, so, so an alien, bro. Okay, well, I'm sorry, bro. I don't mean to cut you off. Look at the definition of alien. What is an alien? An alien, you when people when you tell them what's a fucking a, an alien, uh huh. The what? Well, I mean, I mean, the you know, they call a rasa alien. You right, know? exactly. Even though that's they're the ones that don't belong in this continent. That's but. what I was getting to. Yeah, so alien is something just foreign. A foreign, foreigner. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, have you ever considered the uh, the fact that, like, maybe like they use like the um the Bermuda Triangle? I I heard some like that before that this is supposedly that's how they get into this planet through the the Bermuda Triangle. Mm. You you ever heard any, anything like that? Yeah, I've heard of those. Those are theories, but I mean, yeah, bro. I mean, that could be, you know, if if you want to think of it like that, it could be a sense of a portal, you know, that's being opened. That's what, I, what I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, I I, I can't say right now. I believe in aliens. So I can't, or whatever you want to call them. But so in the the, the theory, you know, that uh, that you believe in, or you know, I believe in it too, but or it's not not the alien thing. You say there's a there's a permanent or a wall around the that we're trapped in the inside of the wall. Right. 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 So what what what's on the other side? Like water. Because I heard that theory, you know that that we're we're you know we're trapped in the in the wall, whatever. But from what I heard. That there's different ones, you know. That they say we're, we're, this is our, you know, this is where we live in, and then further away, you know, there, there there's another. Basically, what I seen is there's like a bunch of like circles. If you wanna, you know, just to make it simple, and they say there's different type of, you know, you're talking about worlds the, or whatever. Right, you're talking. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I have that. I have that map, bro. Yeah. So those are yeah, those are other other dimensions of other realities that that you're being shown. Yeah, well, that, that, that's what I'm trying to get at. Mm -hmm. but what, the, the, the creatures or whatever living organism, what are they, though? I'm sorry, say that again, bro? My bad. Okay, so you say you have the, the, the map or whatever, right? There's different dimensions. Yeah. But there is things there, right? There is, there is things there? Okay, think of it like this, homie. So... Above the firmament, there's water and energy. There's energy. There's called they're called the thirteen realms of heaven, right? But to us, uh -huh. we're we're very simple minded, homie. You can't think like God, right? You can't you can't think. You're not we're not above him. We don't have that mindset. So if you just picture it like this, bro, I'm trying to give you the best analogy. If you were to stick your fucking head through the firmament, if you could, it would be a mindset. Your your mind would go into a dream state. And whatever energy or frequency or star that you get to go into, that would be a feeling of bliss. That one would be a feeling of fucking torment. That one would be a feeling of whatever God has made that star for. Okay. Yeah, because I, I was a little bit confused, you know. Um, Every, I, I everything. The, the map uh, take, it like th take it like this, bro. My bad. I don't mean, I don't mean to interrupt you. But everything, not, everything, that ha everything that has a seed... And an umbilical cord comes from source. That meaning meaning God. Everything that has a seed and an umbilical cord. So take an apple. An apple has a stem. That stem is related to a star. All those apples come from one star. All those oranges come from one one that that is 
that that's that energy that's where that energy that orange produces a certain frequency that frequency is in tune with that star us we have an umbilical cord we carry a seed we are in tune with certain stars you get me yeah yeah no but uh, like i said my, my question was that from what i seen from the map or whatever so the, in, in a different dimension or a different circle you know like to put it in simple terms the different circle that, that i seen on the map there is living entity there right it's a different dimension whatever but there is living yeah yeah it's an energy you it's, a, it. it's an energy bro yeah it's an energy all good all right better cool hopefully that answered your question bro <laughs> All right, Ben. All right, have a good night. Thanks you, for taking the call. Thank you, my bro. Man, I wish I could articulate it better, bro. Well, at least at least you have somewhat of an idea of what people are asking. So for you to be prepared of. Let me see. Caller, your name. Where are you calling from? Yeah. Anthony from Santana. Anthony from Santana in the building. What's good, my bro? Hell yeah! Hey, yo, marvelous. You remember wearing those solo pants? Hmm. The what? Days. Solo pants from back in the day. Oh you yeah, homie, I used, I used to wear. Pants. Hell yeah, I used to wear that shit, dog. And we saw you right there. We're like, oh shit, but you know what? You had you know your daughter and everything. We're like, you know, we're not gonna disrespect you know the homie. Oh, you're the, oh today yeah, today at the swami. Oh, at the swami. You yeah. said what's up, homie? Nah, nah, nah. It's all good. Eh? We we just wanted you to have time with your your kids and everything. Mm -hmm. We're like, hey, we respect. We meet so many famous people. And to be on the side, we don't get all crazy and all that shit, you know? Yeah, I appreciate so we just I, let it be, you. I know? appreciate you, homie. I'm far from famous, dog, but yeah. I appreciate all the love and support I do get, dog. Maybe, really. maybe ghetto fabulous? Huh. Oh, yeah. For real, huh? Huh. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, so this question is for Tony and Marvelous. Yes. I would like to ask you guys, um, I said it before here, um, how Chicano rap is dead, you know? I know you guys are talking about aliens. It's all pedo, pedo. <laughs> I don't want to change it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> talking about that shit right yeah. Now. Oh, pero, I just want to say, kind of like, who is bumping Chicano rap? I live in the barrio. You guys live in the barrio. Who do you hear bumping Chicano rap? I, I do. I Back in the days, in the 2000s, in the 90s, we we used to have systems in our on our ramplas, you know, system. Mm -hmm. In 2017, Carnell, I, I I still got my '96 Impala Super Sport. I always bump Chicano rap. I had got it chased by solos and all kinds of shit. They touched my car, you know. I still got it, like I said, <laughs> in drive bys and all kinds of shit. But as soon as I was get, I was the only vato here in Santana because we're from Santana. Bumping Chicano rap, and I hear no one bumping Chicano rap. I go to certain places in LA, I don't hear nobody bumping Chicano rap. I go to Santa Fe Springs, I would hear one vato playing, you know, uh, uh, Frank B, the Mexican Power. That's about it. And I see all these Toledo's there, and, and you know, you go there. I don't see no one playing Chicano rap. Mm -hmm. So you're and a lot of these veteranos, Solios, you know, I got primos or veteranos, they pump, they pump nothing to font, you know, oldies, and, so, and I respect that, that's fine, you know, they're, they're more older than me. But I don't hear no one bumping Chicano rap, and Chicano rappers say Chicano rap is not dead. To me, it is because I don't hear no one bumping it. How are they getting famous and how they're getting money when I don't hear no one bumping it? Mm. We live, We live here. And we cook out and we do all this shit. And dude, we're the only ones bumping Chicano rap in the neighborhood, in the barrio. Go ahead, Marvelous. Go ahead. So because, I just want to know what, what do you guys think. my answer will be brutal. So I'm going to save my answer. You know what it's up? I mean, I feel I feel like it like it died too, homie. But I still bump it. I like the old school shit. Okay, old... but, but, but like like give us who you bump. Like, so we can kind of get an idea of when it came out. Okay, well, I consider Conejo. Or like, okay. You know, I'll bump that shit. I'll bump... um. You know, sometimes I'll bump Little Rob with the oldie background, um, Little Menace, okay. um, Little One, Shadow. Yeah. Um, I, I'll still yeah. bump all that shit. You know, okay. uh, um, Suicide by Duende. Um, but I don't. I can't have them all on my phone. But you know, I, I okay. like. I still like that shit. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. Now, it's even more... the old school NB writer shit, <laughs> okay. I fucking bump that too. Now, yeah, but, oh, exactly. But within the last ten years. Yeah. 
within the last 10 years, Marvelous, mm -hmm. has anything good came out of Chicano rap that you can say, I bumped that today? What do you mean by good, bro? Well, you know, something worthy of being played in your car. Um, I think it, it's it's worthy of being played because it comes with the memories that I have of those that that song. Okay, so, so they're mostly older stuff then. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay, okay. I I understand that. Now, exactly. now let me say this about Chicano rap: if you're ever going to make a name for yourself, honestly, it's probably going to be outside of LA, because uh, if you go to Colorado, you go to New Mexico, you go to Arizona, you go to Portland, Texas, you could pretty much that's pretty much where you're going to be at for Chicano rap because it's it's a uh, regional. It's not going to go nationwide or global uh, uh, because obviously of what because of what many of these guys are talking about. Now, as far as them being famous and making all this money, nobody is making money off of streams. Let's get that straight. When it comes to streams, no, that's a fact. nobody's making money. So all these guys are lying on social media because they bought followers and that's why they look famous. Now, I'm not going to say, let me rephrase that. I'm not going to say all of them, but many of them have bought followers. Yeah. I know guys that told me they bought the blue check mark. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. They, they, I, guys that told me they bought likes, they bought uh, 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 followers. I get it because they give them a certain look. They've told me this. Mm -hmm. And here am I with fucking seven pages and I, I'm not even at 2,000 followers, but I've been doing this and I interviewed all of them. Mm -hmm. I pretty much have given all of them mm -hmm. their first live podcast interview and my pages are the ones that keep getting deleted. So, uh, um, in, the words of, in the words of royalty, I'm the face of Chicano rap. Yes. <laughs> Even though I didn't buy that, but yeah, but uh, uh, fuck right, <laughs> bro. You got to turn down your television, bro. There's too much echo. <laughs> we don't even have television. No, nah, we don't. We don't got no television. We don't got no television. That's his homie. Oh, that's his homie. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Okay. Well, you know what? But as far as me, it, it might be alive somewhere else other than LA. Mm -hmm. But like I said, Arizona, New Mexico, Portland, Texas, uh, Colorado, out there, there's money out there, bro. But here's how you, here's how rappers could make money. So Chicano rappers, listen up if you don't know. Make some good music and get booked for shows because promoters will pay you if yeah. it's good music and people demand it. If it's just bullshit, let's be honest, you're going to be one of those rappers that is going to be selling tickets so yeah, you can, you can perform. Mm. And then you're going to say, I opened up with DJ Quick. Yeah, well, DJ Quick went on at 10. You went on at 1. Mm. You know, that's the difference. Yeah. Release good music, bro. Regardless of whether you're Chicano or not, release good music and you'll, you'll make money doing shows. That's where all the money's at right now. Bro, Snoop and Cube, no, no, we, those are legends, but they're making over 100,000 a show. Mm -hmm. Over. Mm -hmm. You know, we just need, we just need our rasa to release good music. Not bullshit, bro. Mm -hmm. Boom. So, guys, mm -hmm. but they're waiting. Anyways. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. Hey, 28. Yes, sir. Hey, 28. I, I just want to say uh, for the public, man, I mean, whoever hears this, that all, the kind of rappers, man, do not know how to go with the beat. They don't know how to go with the rhythm. And I, I'm sorry, no disrespect to Nadia Nain, but it's just on the serious side, and I just want to throw it out there. La para mí, doggy, ya, ya no como antes. No. Back in the day, I, I, I could, okay, for, for, to this day, Chicano rap is hip hop because hip hop is just anything. It don't matter if you're Mexicano, Chicano, Chino, whatever. It's hip hop, carnal. You know. But right. I just want to say, Chicano rappers do not know how to go with the beat. They just keep freestyling. They keep rapping, and it's like, dude, the beat stop. Why you keep going? <laughs> you know, and I could say more. But it's just una vergüenza, doggy. La neta. Hey. You know, I just wanted to say it. Okay. Well. One last thing to add to that, okay? Uh, I always okay. encourage Marvelous, I always encourage everybody to chase their dreams, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I really, really do. If you're going to dream, dream big. But I ha also have to tell them this. If you're going to dream, at least have the talent to back up that dream, okay? There's a lot yeah. of guys out there that have no business rapping, bro, and they flooded the market, and yeah. now people from the outside look at us, and we're a laughing stock because those guys have taken over and they have no fucking talent. Mm. Now, if you're going to quote me, whoever's watching, make sure you get everything in context. Mm -hmm. Don't just take one little snippet, mm -hmm. you know, and misquote me. Ah, fuck it, misquote me. I don't care. Anyways, go ahead, bro. Uh, muchas gracias, carnal. I appreciate you being honest, homie. Hey, thank you, homie. I send my respects to you and the familia, dog. 
Yeah, gracias, eh. Thanks for your time. Okay. Hey, so touching up back on the other part, not that I'm all anxious yeah. to talk about it, but this is the map of the world that he was talking about. Okay. So we're covered by the firmament dome that encompasses us, this world, and the outer worlds are the other continents that are outside of that. Okay. Watch. Oh, wow. Caller, hold on one second, My caller. Bad. My bad. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. And this would be how we how we are. What up, Tom? This is Tom and G. With the sun and the moon inside. Oh, okay. that is us. Okay. Javi, what's good, my bro? What you went bagging, homie? The Enchirito again? Oh, no, I'm, I'm just chilling. Yeah, you give the Enchirito. I brought back the bacon some. Okay. But hell yeah. Well, I was going to tell you, I was going to tell uh, homeboy the, the author of that book. That, that uh, Rodolfo Naya. Yesterday I, or the other night, I called and told you guys about a book. Okay. Bless me, Ultima or whatever. But Rodolfo Anaya okay. is the author. <clears throat> okay, the author of, of what book, my brother? So, uh, Bless me, Ultima. Bless me, Ultima. Okay. All good, my bro. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I was, I was, I was calling whatever. I may sound stupid. I'm drunk as fuck. I was right about now. to say you've been drinking, I had a homie. Good time. Jump in. <laughs> I just want to tell you, homie. <laughs> it's all good, bro. You, you, you hey, can tell you've been bad, drinking. <laughs> yeah, I had me some drinks. I was like, yeah, I saw the homie up there. I was like, yeah, but Paul, I call over here with some stupid ass shit like that, man. Hey, much love, guys. Hey, I love y'all, man. All good, my bro. Yeah, and follow me on YouTube, baby. That's right. I'm begging. All right. Talk to you in a minute. Okay. I'm bagging. What he does, he'll go to Taco Bell. He'll go to McDonald's. Whatever's the latest thing, mm -hmm. he'll film himself, eat it, and then kind of like grade it. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Call her your name or where are you calling from? Hey, what's up? My name is uh, Eddie. I'm at Home Sauce. I'm out here in Vista, California. What's up, Eddie? How you doing tonight, man? Hey, I, I just want to say uh, uh, gracias and uh, much, much love and appreciation for you guys having these conversations. Um, and to the guy that called earlier about Chicano rap, I understand where he's coming from. I feel like a lot of the LA artists are like more on that like hood trappy, you know, these new younger artists. Right. They're Chicano, they're Mexican, but it's like a different vibe. And I feel like the other states like Texas, Arizona, they're more keeping that alive. He's wondering where their followers are coming from, you know? Right. They're more on that old school. Yeah, I was born and raised in Inglewood, like South Central, it's a different type of Chicano, you know what I'm saying? As opposed yeah. to like East LA. But just to elaborate on that, but I actually did have a real question um, for the brother right here. I'm reading a book um, called When Rocks Cry Out. When Rocks Cry Out. Butler. Yeah. And it, uh, it elaborates on, he talks about, uh, you know, the ancestry, how um, it came from Africa, basically what he's saying, right? Uh -huh. Some came from the north, some came from, you know, have you heard about this book or are you able to elaborate on anything about that? I heard about thoughts. that book, bro. I haven't, you know, I, have, reading. I haven't read it, though. Okay. But do you know about the story, how they were saying that he, he ties it in? I, I think you should read it, uh, when Rock Cry Out. So, um, so that would be associated with I'm really the, interested. My bad, bro. Go ahead. No, no. You, uh, well, in the book, essentially, he says that um, one of the stories was from uh, Saquon. That they they came, our ancestors said that some of them came from ships, from where the sun sets or the sun rises, and then he ties it into people leading, you know, some of the kingdoms from um, Africa, and yeah. some came from the north. And, and I know a lot of cats too be online like, no, we're not from Africa, we're not here, we're indigenous. But what are your thoughts on the true origin, the deep deep roots from whence we came? So where that story comes from is it it it. It comes from, of course, you know, the Raza will get bothered by it, but it comes with a story of Tolan, Tolani. Tolani was the son of Issachar. Issachar was the son um, of one of, well, he was the, one of the 12 tribes. Okay, so that's where the whole Raza being indigenous or part of the Israelites, that's where that comes from. So, essentially, it states that not, not, not that we came from Africa, but we came out of captivity from Africa and it's not it's not a black thing it's not like um how do you say it like we're all black black if, if you were to go back in time and go to you know the 14th century before the Spaniards came and you were to see the Mexica they would look like Tony they would look like me and there would be so-called Africans 
They're but they're not African though. That's the thing. They just carry a little bit more melan melanation or melanin. It's not. Yeah, they're I'm not brown, from Africa. I'm brown and down. Bro, so man. yeah, yeah. So um, coming the whole thing of them coming out of Africa is the Hamites that that real African tribe was selling Israelites that were coming um, migrating down towards the west on their migration to the promised lands, which would be the so-called Americas. That's where that story comes from. I would really love for you to read this book. If I could, I, I'll, I'll send it to you. Yeah, homie, if you can, please. And then I'll shoot you no, some but, of the, the same. Yeah, yeah, I, I, know what you're, I, I know what you're reading. I got like 10 books on that, yeah. that same thing. Yeah, yeah, and I would love to just, you know, delve into that whole subject. Hey, thanks for having me. I ain't going to take up too much time. My first time on um, at home underscore sauce. Check me out. Love you guys. Oh, good. good. Thank good you. I appreciate a caller that, that's mindful mm -hmm, of the callers. Mm -hmm. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Jay, South Texas. Jay from South Texas. What's good, my bro? I'm chilling, man. Um, hey, I got a quick question for Marvin. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up, Marvin? What up, Mr. Homer? Um, yeah, so I'm, from, so I'm from South Texas, right? But right now I'm on the East Coast. I'm in the Carolinas. Okay. So my question to you is, if I get on a if I get on a boat right now <laughs> on a ship and I head directly east, where will I end up? If you if you okay, if you're going across the Atlantic, you're talking about or what? Yeah, yeah. Like like if like if I get on a, if I get on a boat right now and I go directly east, where will I end up? I'd have to look at the map, bro. Let me see. Hold up. Look at it. Look at it. Hold up. It's gonna take a minute, man. And the map that you're looking, and the map, and the map that you're looking at probably comes from Google Earth. It's a satellite image. So where are you trying to go with that? With that, that and that? I'm really curious. No, 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 no. Just, just chop it up about it, bro. Like mm -hmm. I'm not trying to debunk anything or anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just trying to chop, chop it up about it. Yeah. If you, if you were if he was in North Carolina he was head, he was headed fucking whatever what did he say east right east. yeah where east. would you go yeah yeah so here what will I end up so here's the map bro so I don't know if you can see I this I don't know if you can see this bro can you see it so this is where you would be on the Atlantic right you would head down down south towards you know South America. Africa would be that way. But if you're really going east, east would literally be be up. Like looking, you have to look at it going this way. Like if I were face it this way. I'm showing you like this, so I don't know if you'll be able to understand what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, because let's see what Jack okay. Yeah, so this is Antarctica right here. If you can see that, I don't know if the, the camera can zoom into that. And this is the Arctic Circle that encompasses us. Right. Right? right. So that's where you would be headed. You would either there's two there's two continents you could go to. It would be either Africa or South America. Okay, and if I keep going after that, what do you mean? So 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 a long so so a long story short, just, mm. and just from what I understand, right? Because mm -hmm. my common sense tells me, and this is just from what I know, boy. You know, and I and you know I, I don't I don't know much. I'll, I'll be honest with you, mm -hmm. but just common sense. What it tells me is if 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 right now I start, like I said, and if I go directly east across all the land masses and all the waters that I'll end up back in the same spot. No, you won't, bro. You're you're talking about going around. If you're going to, around the circle of Earth, cause see, that's what happened to Amelia Earhart when she found out the, the Earth was flat. Like, you can't fly around the Earth. You're going to go around in a, in a circle. That's how you're flying. You're flying like that, in a circle, bro. You're not flying around and But I'm up. talking about a ship. No, no, I'm talking about a ship. No, well, a ship, it, it, would be, it would be it would be the land, same... Not, but it would be the same thing, bro. It's no. a in a ship and a plane. It's the same thing because it's a flat surface. It doesn't matter. You're following no, the, the the the. No, because the plane flies. No, because the plane flies sideways. Really, you know what I mean? So, so if you put your hand like a plane going around the globe, <sighs> it's, you know it's got to go sideways. Let me, so uh, let me like, okay. Let me ex let me explain to you. Right here's a here's a plane right here. Yeah, go for it. Here's a boat. Right. Here's a plane. Here's a boat. Tony has a globe right there. Tony has, has, a, has, a, has a... Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. The globe, you're not going like this. Here, here's your globe. <laughs> now you're down here. What are you doing upside down, homie? 
Come back up here. <laughs> this is where we're at. You're flying like this in a circle. If you're going to go east, that's where you're going to fly to. Right. You're not going all around and upside down. I, I guess I guess what he's assuming is like, if I keep going straight, am I going to hit a wall or am I going to fall off the cliff? No, you're gonna you're gonna hit the right. the continent of the Arctic Circle. That's what you're gonna hit. You're not gonna fall off. You can't fall off, but eventually you'll hit that firmament. Okay. Okay, but why aren't there any documentaries out there or anything about that? Like, or, or, or better yet, no, no, better yet. Where can I go to see? This? Where, where could you direct me? The best the best place I could I could recommend you to is um um look up on YouTube Rob Skiba. Rob Skiba, um, R O B last name S K I R B A. Um, you could, he he'll break down biblical origin. He'll break down the firmament uh, uh, specific videos. My first video that I'm dropping this month is specifically on this that everybody asked me, so I could just kill that shit already. Is about the flat Earth. It's a it's a lecture about the flat Earth, along with video, everything, proof, fucking longitude, all all, all that shit. It's it's broken down with refraction. Um, the sun, how the sun just and the moon rotate around circ in a circular motion, not upside down, to who founded NASA, all that shit. We got it on the screen too. Mm -hmm. You can see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm checking it out. I'm checking it out. All good, caller man. Oh. Appreciate you, homie. Because okay. you know we're not gonna take too long talking about the flat Earth. I'd rather talk about a flat chest because I, it's I gotta hit. It's, it's, it's a pinch, you know what, mm -hmm. I mean? uh, what are you guys chopping it up about tonight, though? Hey, I appreciate you, though. That, that, your, your question, homie. I really appreciate that. We talk about everything tonight, bro, from pyramids to aliens to zombies to Norby's eating Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, well, I got a last question then. Yes. Hey, Marcus, mm -hmm. what importance do you give? For the raza, for our hands to uh, learn the, the Spanish language, what importance did you give, did you give to that? How, imp how important is it for us to learn Spanish, you said? Yeah, for our people to learn Spanish. Yeah, what importance do you give it? The only importance of, of learning Spanish is that it's, it's, what is it considered, the second biggest language? Well, especially here, I mean... For, for communication-wise, that's about it, bro. But yeah. as far as it being a uh, raza, our language, fuck that language. With all okay, respect. But, but you're also, okay. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you kind of do offend me because I am from Mexico and I consider that my language. That is, that's but not our language, though. Feel like that, that's our captivity language. Okay, but I would, okay, but I would say, okay, but what language are we speaking now? I mean, we're speaking another captivity language and that's spellcasting. If we want to go to our real, our real okay. Raza's language, now what? That's our language. That language means something. That right. language produces a that's, higher that's frequency. Our, that's a, our name, that's our, 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 yeah, our name, language. no, that's our bloodline. Your ancestors are living through your blood right now. That's your bloodline. That's not somebody okay, in the past. You that's you. Mexico, You're your father's 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 right. father's father. Correct. But you're saying that from... You're saying that from the United States. You're saying that from California. This is not the but United States, Mexico, bro. Okay, 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 but, but follow me where I'm going. With, no, yeah, yeah, go. Hey, my uh, bad. I don't mean to sound uh, offensive, homie, you know? Like, no, you're good. You're good. No, no, you're good. Like, hey, this, this is good. This is good. Uh, this is a good conversation. But if you go to Mexico, you'll find out that the Spanish language is still closer to the cultura that you speak of than the English language. That That's, that's fine. I mean... So, the, but I still don't respect it. Like, I mean, like what, like, 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 gro like growing up, like growing up, they would say, "Oh, you're a pocho, or you're a Chicano, or you're this and that, or, or you're not raza. You don't speak, or you don't speak Spanish." I don't give a fuck. Fuck you in that Spanish. Like, you know, do you speak Nahuatl? Do you, do you know our original language? No, they don't. Do they know the origins of where they come from? No. Do they know about our migration? No, they don't. You know, but they're all all hyped Whoa. up on, lear on learning Spanish. Like, w w what's the big? You know, it's like, it's like, okay, come here, Spaniard, come and teach me your language. I'm, uh, let me sit on your fucking lap too, Charlie. No, 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 but that's reality. 
That, 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 the reality that, is, is that this is our fucking land. That's the reality. The reality is, is that we need to come back to our 100%. tribe. That's that's the reality. The reality is that the school starts in your, with your kids at home. That's the reality. The reality is that we need to learn our, our original language because it reproduces a higher frequency. That's the reality. The reality is, is that we're still under captivity, which we need to fucking come out of it. And it starts with your mindset. Being a captive to your own mind of working a nine to five, that's never going to get you fucking anywhere. You're still going to be looked down on. You're still, you're still not, you're not, you're never going to own a Lamborghini. You can't say nobody, but you, 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 you can't speak for everybody. No. Oh, oh, I'm not, but I could, I, I, and I don't, I don't, I don't wish to speak for everybody. But if everybody woke up and took a time to stop being a, a chief, you know, when they don't even know their tribe, come on. We gotta study, bro. We got we gotta wake up out of this shit. Instead of instead of being content, I, 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 what are you gonna do? To, what are you gonna do tomorrow? You're gonna go to work. You're gonna get out of work. Hopefully, your wife made you something. You know, um, you're gonna greet your kids, and then you're gonna go to sleep and do it all over again. You didn't learn nothing. Your kids didn't learn anything. They were on their phones all day. They were on their but iPads all day. You don't know that, but, but you can't say that. But you can't say that because you don't know everybody else. Okay, you fine. Yourself, well, and maybe the people, and maybe the people around you, though. But no, that's, that's fine. what I'm saying. Okay. Your mentality. That, uh, okay, let me ask you this: Have mm-hmm. you ever, have you ever traveled outside of LA? Have you ever traveled? Uh, like, no offense, homie. I'm no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, uh, Chile, no? Mm-hmm. Like, like, have you, have you ever, have you ever traveled outside of there? Yes. Have you gone into Mexico? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, not all deep like I want to. I would, lo- I would love to, but no, I have, I have not well, got the well, chance what's to. What's not all deep? Well, 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 Mexico is Mexico. What do you mean not all deep? Well, I mean uh, all deep into like Mexico City, you know, like even deeper to like Belize or, or go into, you know, all that. Even d- way down south, Panama, like I, I want to go to all that, all that. I want to go everywhere, bro. I want to learn to, as much as I, I can. I, 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 Within a short time spirit. Uh, t- I honestly think. Go ahead, go ahead, my bad. No, go for it, bro. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, I, I honestly think that if you actually, that if you actually go down there and visit different places, that your how ha- your whole outlook on the Spanish language will be different, bro, because. That's our, that, that's, that's what we see. Okay? Uh, uh, like that. I mean, you know, if I could I, say I, this, look at, hold on. I think his outlook could possibly change, but he still feels the same as far as that not being our language. I know that's, I know that's what you're saying, and I respect that, bro. But uh, listen, we got 11 minutes on this phone call, <laughs> and uh, I want to be mindful of other callers, bro. So we got like about 15 right. more I, minutes. I appreciate you, Francis. Hey, I thank you, you, homie. I appreciate this conversation for real. I send my respects. Good questions, homie. Hey, thank you. Hey, hey. Likewise, likewise, very much. Okay, gracias. You know, I, I don't mind people calling in and asking, but please do not expect like a 30-minute conversation. We're not going to get everything out in five minutes, so please understand that. Call your name or where are you calling from? What's up, Tony? What's up, Marvelous? It's Cosmic Eternal. Cosmic Eternal. Where are you calling from, bro? Uh, calling from Van Nuys. Van Nuys. What's, what's good? Chilling, bro. How are you guys doing? Um, I'm fabulous. So, uh, uh, what's on your mind? Uh, you know what? I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I, I'm totally in accordance with both of you when they talk about, uh, you know, all the ruins are hidden and the Grand Canyon ones. They are guarded, the the caves. But there's like certain pictures where you can actually see the temples. The thing with the Grand Canyon is that they're just so fucking ancient yeah. that they're super eroded super eroded but if you look closely it's a it's like a crazy structure and also i don't know if um you guys know about the pyramid here near us in la which ones bro so there's a big one and tell me why all the rasta all the indigenous people go there they're called to go to it they call it the culver city stairs if you go to the building across the street, the parking lot, mm-hmm. and you look and you stand over there and you look at it from afar, you're like, "Holy shit, that's a pyramid!" Mm-hmm. Wow, I never saw it that mm-hmm. way. Yeah, I'll show you again the San Gabriel Mountains, see, bro. You see those... <laughs> wow, what was that? No, I was talking. I was telling them the San Gabriel Mountains. I'll show you a gang of them where there's supposedly pyramids right there. But yeah, bro, fact, fact. You're yeah. saying facts right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, yep. Was that it, bro? I think, uh, and I think, 
and I think uh, also I was gonna say I think like the the other the to like highlight what the last caller was talking about. Yeah. You know, for for you know, you always talk about the bloodline, like for us, for us, marvelous, you know. And I know me when I started waking up to shit, it's not a matter of you went you went and read it in a book. Sometimes you just go and you hear shit. And you're like, oh, shit, I remember it's in the DNA, mm-hmm. you know, and some people, they're not there yet. So when they're talking about like, oh, that's our, yeah, that's the reality. That's because this is hundreds and hundreds of years of colonization. Yeah, that's the normality of it. Now, that is the way we communicate. That's like for me, you know, my grandma, when she prays, she's a devout Catholic. When she prays, it's about the energy. I feel it. When she's talking about La Virgen, I'm thinking about Don Ancin, the, the, the mother goddess, mm-hmm. give me the earth. And when I hear her prayers and I feel it, it's about the energy and the vibration. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Catholic and it's her own way of interpretation. And I'm not down with Catholicism so much anymore. You get me? Because I think about all the all the murder, all the pillaging, all that shit. You know. Mm-hmm. But it's it's a, it's something deeper. And um, I just wanted to share for people like if you want to start waking up to that, get off the fucking get off the alcohol, the the standard. The standard diet that people think, is, oh, that's our cultura, modelos and fucking <laughs> even blazing it all the time. You mm-hmm. know, the mm-hmm. pork is the main one. I the pork because that shit has parasites and that shit eats your brain. How many people and Rasa? Oh, I know so and so. Their tia, they ate the bad pork and they got parasites in their brain and that's died. Very true. That mm-hmm. shit turns parts of your brain off. Mm-hmm. You get me? Mm-hmm. And your brain is the supercomputer. Your brain, even yes. your posture, the way you stand, yes. is the way you're an antenna into the universe mm-hmm. to receive information. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So uh, I always watch you guys, and I just, I know, like, Marvelous, like, because I'm like that, too. Like, sometimes it's like, fuck, the questions come, and, like, I get, we get all scatterbrained, and it's just, like, you know, there's, there's a few of us out here, and we just, like, want to share that, because, like, sometimes it's, it's about all of us having this conversation right now. This, this time is so crazy so important it is a revelation which is the revealing you get me yeah, yeah it, so. it is bro and and like it's just like i explained to somebody before what you're saying right now not everybody's gonna hear you and because not everybody's on that frequency bro or or that frequency that's in your blood you know like a bird when a bird chirps the bird that's a, a relative of that bird's gonna understand what he's saying so when i send my frequency out through my message that i'm trying to re- uh, reiterate people the people that are that are in tune with that frequency are gonna hear me it's meant to who it's supposed to go to. Yeah, it's real, bro. We 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 feel that we're out, we 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 hear you. We're out here, you know. I appreciate you, homie. And hit me up. We got to hey, chop bro, it up. I just want to say, say, yeah, I, I I'm gonna hit you up soon, bro. It's just because I also too. I don't want to take. Uh, I don't want to waste your time. I'm like I'm gonna write the questions on, so you know, we can have a good conversation. <laughs> what I wanted to say too is um is uh. It's like, it's so dope, someone like you, Marvelous, because even growing up, you know, they tell us like, oh, I remember when I was a kid, I told my dad like, hey, dad, I want some Cortezes. He's like, nah, nah, because he's like, that's going to lead into a lifestyle. But it's because there was something about the fucking, the cholos or whatever you want to call them, the gangsters, they had an honor. They had a self-presentation. Even a 12-year-old kid, they came fresh as fuck to school. All the girls liked them. They'll tell the grown ass adult, nah, fuck you. You're lying to us. You're, mm-hmm. They'll call them out on their bullshit, mm-hmm. you know? And mm-hmm. now to see you on this on this level, to see the evolution of us, to see the evolution of someone like you who still got that fucking, that, that fire, that's that Aztec fire, you know, that we all we all look up to, bro. We appreciate you. Man, I appreciate that, bro. Thank and you so much, too, man. Tony, and you too, Tony. Tony, Thank you, you too, bro, because I think of, bro, when I think of Tony too, you know, I, I always think about Zapata when I think about Tony, bro. Thank you, my brother. He said his pata, sure. not right. zapata. <laughs> I know. I heard zapatos. Yeah. <laughs> All good, my brother. Yeah. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you for calling in, bro. Yeah, send my love and respect on me. For sure. Good talking to you guys. I'm going to hit you guys up. Tony, yes, I'm going to still send you some music, bro. And uh, Let's do that. Good talking to you guys. Likewise. Okay, we're going to take two more phone calls, and then we're going to call it a night. Let's see. Here's one of them. Call her your name, and where are you calling from? <laughs> How you doing? My name is Chuck. Um, I got a question for Tony, and I got a question for Marvelous. Uh, f- first and foremost, bro, where are you calling from? Oh, the East Coast. The East Coast. All right. All good. What's your questions? Yeah. 
All right, so uh, uh, do, you, do you know the name of uh, your, your boombox? I've seen that. I've seen your post, and I, I think that's the extreme, man. I'm sorry. What what was that? The, yeah. Uh, do you know the you know the do you know what boombox you got? The brand or the name? Oh, the uh, the Sonic. Yeah. Oh, the Sonic. Yes. Do you, do you know what? Um, you know more specifically which uh, which the Sonic it is. You know what? If I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, bro, under Tony A. The Wiz, I can give you the year and everything, bro. Okay, I'll hit you up. Okay, I know. Uh, so for Marvelous, uh, I've been seeing a lot of, you know, a lot of a lot of our black brothers post about, um, you know, claiming the the, the, the indigenous the indigenous culture. Do you, do you got anything anything on that? Do you know anything about that? I've been seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of black homies, you know, post, you know, and they claim like from like specific tribes. You know, say that they come from that tribe. Do you know if it's any? If there's any truth in, in, in that? That's fact, bro. Hate me all you want, uh, not you, but you know the Rasa, they're 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 part of our tribe, homie. Some of them, some okay, of them so, aren't though. Okay, some of, some of them are are African though, and they hate to hear that too. You know, um, they're they they, they don't want to be called indigenous. Some of them think that oh no, I'm from Africa. I'm from the okay. Tell me your fucking tribe that you're from. Then what part of Africa are you from? They don't know. They're just naming a a big ass uh, continent. They don't, you know, they're not, they're not, they're indigenous, bro. Right. Yeah. Now I, I see, I've seen a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people post, you know, like, um, like the old make head and you know, all that shit, but I, I, I never really got into it. Mm. I, the, the only type of food that I've seen them say, you know, like stuff like that, you know, but I've seen a lot of people, you know, with the big noses, you know, things like that, but I, you know, I'll take a look more on it. Um, uh, hit me up. Hit me up on Instagram. Uh, hit me up on Instagram, and I'll send you. I'll send you some some um, good content. Bro, good content that you could um, you could okay. um, you know research yourself and check it out, and then you know give your opinion on it, homie. But um, yeah, when I say you know what we're talking about right here, I'm not saying all the blacks. Some of them are from Africa, but a good majority are indigenous. Okay. Though, and then they're two different people. They're not. They're not the same. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a lot of them, you know, try to bash, you know, our people as well, you know, the ones that are considered indigenous, you know, mm. saying that, you know, we're not the true indigenous, but you're saying that we're both, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I'll hit you up. I DM'd you a while ago, but I, I'll hit you up again. I, my, I know you're busy, so I understand. No, I'll go through my, it's probably in the spam list, homie. I'll check it out. Hit, hit me up again, right, right, like, you know, tonight. I'll hit you up. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take one more phone call. Let's go. And then here we go. Call her your name. Where are you calling from? Hey, what's up, Tony? Uh, this is Rick from Whittier. Rick from Whittier. You are our last caller. Hey. What's good, my bro? Hey, what's up, Tony? Um, and what's up, Marvelous? I what? had a, a question for both of you guys. Yes. So, um, have you guys, do you guys know about the uh, Project Bluebeam? Yes, I, I, I don't, bro. I just heard it. I I'm not gonna sit here and oh yes, I've studied it in Harvard. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I have, bro. All right, all right. Um, yeah, you heard about that? Uh, yeah, because we're talking about like, or you guys were touching on like the uh, the what is it called? The outbreak and probably like a zombie apocalypse and yes. you know aliens and. You know that they're they're gonna deceive us in some kind of way, and um, maybe what they're I don't know what you guys are are seeing on the social media nowadays, but um, you guys know about the the glitches that are happening, kind of like people are catching on camera now. Mm -hmm. Um, my nephew, I I don't know if this is part of it, but my nephew saw a plane standing still in the middle of the air, mm -hmm. and he just saw it standing still, a big commercial. Not a small, like, uh, you know, a two-seater, but a big commercial one just standing in the air, t uh, tilted. Mm -hmm. And he just couldn't believe it. So I don't know if that has anything to do with that, my bro, but that's what he, I, what I've heard. But, yes, uh, other people have have reported that that they've, they've seen things in the sky that were just still. So I don't know if that's a glitch or what. Mm. Maybe you could elaborate a little bit more about what you mean by glitches. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly what I meant. Um, yeah, there was like one bird too. I think it was in like Japan or something. Mm -hmm. There was like a bird stuck and like pulled up in a in a fire truck, 
and it had the the ladder out and they climbed up and the bird was frozen in the air and they tapped on it with a broomstick mm-hmm. and it didn't flap it just kind of like glided away mm-hmm. what the hell mm-hmm. Hey, what about times are getting crazy? Hey, what about did you see the one with the with the woman that that um she died, bro, or whatever? But she falls out of nowhere, like she pops up from under the ground, like if she fucking fell from, like she committed suicide. Did you see that one? Nah, nah. Or the or the dude where the the news station is filming and the the bottle comes out of the portal in back of her. I seen that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. I have a life. Uh, TV or something. It was like a like mm-hmm. a newscast or something that caught it in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, one time I, I thought yeah, I saw I an eclipse, like- but it was just Norbert walking by with a Taco Bell back. <laughs> 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 nah, go for it. <laughs> hey man, we better get a pr- uh, promotion from Taco Bell huh. sponsorship. Mm-hmm. Run for the border. Mm-hmm. So, all good, my bro. Is there anything else you wanted to share on that? Um, you know what. What was crazy too is um, mud floods. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys know about that one. Mm-hmm. Mud floods. It's, it's a lot of un- yeah. One 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 thing that's like popped up real recently. They were um, building. They they get, you, before you build, you got to lay the foundation down. Yes. And uh, they were doing. They were getting the ground ready in New York, and they hit an old civilization where they could. Uh, they were saying that it's older than the pyramids or something. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You should. Okay. I'm going to have to check that one out, bro. Anything else, bro? You're the last caller, homies. Take your time. If not, sayonara. Um, man. <laughs> now, there's just a lot of craziness <laughs> out there right now. I think uh, in just some time, uh, history might be repeating itself. You I know? believe that. So. I believe in history mm-hmm. repeating itself, bro. Mm-hmm. I do. So, all good, my bro. Listen, man, thank you for calling in. Thank you for being a part of the show. Uh, uh, greatly appreciate you, bro. Yeah, thank you, homie. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You guys take care. You too. Here we go. We are off. All right, Marvelous. You know, uh, I do want to say something, and, and I do want to say something to the callers. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody. I took the time to call in today, but I've gone over this many times, you know, um, and I say this, I I say this respectfully. When you call in, please ask a question. You know, sometimes people want to call in and have a conversation. When we have a conversation, it could lead up to 30 minutes and then nobody else gets in. You know, people complain to me and say the calls are too long. Some people tell me the calls are too short. Let the people talk. I'm trying to keep it balanced for you guys because I want everybody to get in. Now, when somebody calls in, please have your question ready. A lot of times you guys just want to just talk. I get it. Believe me, I get it. But we only have a two-hour window to try to get everybody in. Then people want to call in and ask a question the size of this fucking room, which you only want a small answer for. You know, like that caller from Texas, no disrespect. But if I was you, bro, if you go straight, you're going to hit a wall. That's it. Where do you get that? That's what I believe. That's it. I would I would have kept it simple. If you want to talk to me, my number's in my bio. Call me, and I have more time. You know? But look, at, e- even if you were going to try to convince him, would you be able to do it in five minutes? No. It, 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 so th- that's all I'm trying to say, guys. That's all I'm trying to say is that please respect the time, get to your question, and we'll try to answer it as best, or I would, or he would try to answer it as best as he can. But it, please, this is not a debate. If you want to debate him, once again, call him. And, and once again, thank everybody that called in. Great questions. But I just had to throw that out there that, you know, you're not going to be able to convince somebody in five minutes, you know, especially something of this magnitude that the earth is flat. It's just not going to happen, bro. So, anyways. Marvelous. Thank you for coming. Anything you want to say, any shout outs, any, whatever. Um, just thank you to everybody that tunes in um, every episode. Um, everybody that sees me out there in the, in the street, thank you for the respect and, and um, you know, come and say hi to me, pictures, whatever. I, I really appreciate you guys, um, each and every one of you. Um, and um, just, man, 
I urge people to to before they criticize people or or me or anybody, you know, anybody with anything, knowledge yourself on on what what you're talking about. Just don't just go by, you know, answering out of ignorant or out of your in your feelings or or trying to you know promote your ego or some shit. Like you know, really know what you're talking about, you know. And um, man, stu- study, man. Like you know, stu- I don't know, I don't know. It's it's hard. Like you wanna you wanna. I feel I, I take it as as you're helping somebody, you know, um, everything, whether, whether it's your diet or whatever, you know, like just education. Yeah. Edu- educate yourself. That's about it. You know, like. Yeah. You know, and, and like I said, if anybody would ever call me, you know, Tony, how did you start the music? I'm not going to start from 11 years old mm. and give it to you in five minutes. Mm. I'll give it to you in a nutshell. And some people may say, well, you know what? You didn't go into detail. Well, I can't because, you know. Watch the documentary, mm. you know, and it'll get and give you a better picture. But once again, I, I appreciate everybody on there. Uh, um, I saw somebody in the live chat that was putting L Tony, not L Tony, but L Tony, like I took a loss. You know, the guy who actually really took a loss was the guy who sat there and watched for two hours. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate you too. Anyways, <laughs> other than that, let me take my, uh, uh, my uh, team. Uh, news of Norbies, once again, make sure you guys go check that out. Get your ghetto news from unprofessional perspective. We're not journalists. We're just hood journalists. We'll give it to you from the gut. We don't give it to you like the white man gives it to you. Okay? And uh, also, let me give a shout-out to Alex Cervantes, Cervantes Enterprise. I, I think we're back. Uh, are we? Oh, yeah. Um, breaks, transmission. Uh, uh, what? What? Smogs? Yeah. I got smogs, whatever. Smog, brakes, engines. Yeah. Hey, I got special on Hondas right now. You need a new engine for your bucket? Yeah. I got you. Hey. There, there you go. Hit you up. know what I'm saying? Hit up mm. 81 on Instagram. Hey, used engines, though. Don't don't be coming over here expecting a deal on a new engine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, good. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then my son, <laughs> Scanlons, for helping me promote this. Also, to the Hip Hop Jedi, everybody on the live chat, everybody who commented, like, subscribed. Everybody who wasn't on the, um, oh, I'm still talking, guys. And everybody who decided not to be on the live chat, and everybody who interrupted me while I was talking. But go ahead, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. First, uh, we got a few more super chats. Uh, I want to say thank you to Jesse Estrada for his first super chat here. Uh, marvelous should, marvelous, I think he wants to say marvelous. You should do classes on Patreon or extra content on members only. Thank mm-hmm. you both for all the content. Uh, Charlie Hustle drop nine ninety nine. Books marvelous might be interested in Earth Shifting Crust by Charles H H Apgood and The Morning of the Magician by Lewis Powell's and Jock Pergier. Uh, I also want to say thank you to uh, Kevy Boo who dropped his first super chat here with one ninety nine saying. Don caga piedras. <laughs> and that is all. All good. All good. Yo, man, I want to thank you. You guys are hilarious on the live chat. I love it, bro. Keep it coming. Um, other than that, you know what? Uh, we, we, we're good. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, what's, what's today, bro? Sunday? Sunday. Okay, see you guys uh, Wednesday. Okay, with another special guest. Once again, Marvelous, thank you very much. Thank you for being a part of the show. Uh, Muchas gracias to everybody. Thank everybody who gave. And uh, we're out of here.